Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Hollow Knight, The Rotting Maw, Episode 2. <laughs> All right, let's alert them that I'm unmuting. How are you guys doing? Super good, I hope. buds hello greetings hi dodgy i wasn't actually expecting you guys to be quiet that was really weird <laughs> we were talking a lot actually oh, just came at the sorry. perfect time yeah. you were sitting here so don't let them lie to you you were we were all silent not even talking yeah we were oh, very no. awkward with each oh, other no. no one we Wait. don't get along very well in we here don't. and no, no one was talking no. to each other oh okay at all. okay at That's, all. Yeah. We just sat here yeah. in silence that's great i'm okay i'm reflecting on our inevitable deaths Sure. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm delighted to hear it. <laughs> nah, we was talking. Huh? Oh my god, I'm so you got me so worried. No, I didn't. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome back, guys. Welcome back, buggies. Hey, greetings. I missed y'all. Delighted to have you here. Hello. 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 I'm excited. I'm so excited to be back uh, playing games with you. Yeah, I'm excited to have you guys back. Um, can I just a quick a quick aside that um, both Kelly and I were like <laughs> ninety percent convinced that Benji was in some kind of a monster hunter coma and was not going to show up. Yep. <laughs> you are correct. I was in a <laughs> coma and I woke up. I, I told her. I was like, have Sam call. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I set an alarm to to, to wake up. I'm so glad. <laughs> I said that. I was like, he probably said it to right before it started. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. that would make sense. Sam said the new Monster Hunter is super good, though. It's really good, yeah. I haven't... It's good enough for me to, you know, sleep until, what was it, 9 p.m. our time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, that good. I that, understand. That really good schedules. sleep schedule. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Please help. <laughs> it's worth it. it. What about the rest of you guys? Octo, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm I didn't get good. to talk to you guys at all before the stream because I was doing that classic thing where I was like, oh no, I forgot everything. So. Oh. <laughs> but you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm doing good. I'm excited. I, I was actually, I made a tweet about this character. Oh. Uh, well, it was vague, but it was definitely about this character where sometimes you sort of uh, come up with a concept for a character and then in the first session you find a personality trait that you didn't think about before but it just yeah. really works dude I love it yeah you turned out too, super different from the yeah. original plan well, yeah, yeah what I think anybody true. was expecting <laughs> You're all wise. Yeah, that's true. yeah yeah I'm adjusting you guys a little bit I had scooched you around because I want to have um, your number of fate points next to you this time. Ooh. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and I'm realizing that some of you guys bounce in, in different ways by accidente. So there you go. Um, tight. Wonderful. Well, welcome back, everybody. Let's get this shit. Yeah. Let's get hell yeah. Let's get this shit going. <laughs> um, where's my child? There it is. Okay, people asked for a recap, 
So I'm going to give that really quick. Um, and then you guys, mentally prep, you guys are going to have an opportunity to um, sort of reintroduce your character and also tell everyone your aspects and your stunts. So just have that oh, ready cool. to go. Okay, sure, sure. Okay. All right, so let's get some let's get some music going, shall we? Wait, do you not have music playing? No, I can hear music. You can? Am I crazy? Yeah. Oh, I've been I hearing hear music it. for like twenty minutes. Yeah, oh. I hear it in in roll twenty. Why don't I? Oh no! It's Am I not crazy what on enough? Earth? It's okay. finally happening. <laughs> Hold. Oh, I want to no. be crazy. Hold. Oh no! It took a year. But it's to crack. Oh, wait, I think I know. Oh, no. I'm afraid to mess with my sound settings, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, it does say that there's music playing, but for some reason it's not playing for me. That's okay. I can hold on. I can I can do He's this a mess. little differently. It started playing before the screen even loaded. There you me. go. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I have it going on my end now. Oh no. Oh no. The world of the oh. hive is humming with life and purpose. Their queen is lost to them, and new princesses will be born soon to fight for their right to rule. But it is all for naught if the hive is threatened by what lives below. Milo, a rootin' tootin' pillbug, driven by oh, something boy. primal and predatory, has found an abyss deep below and is now part of a team to find out what lurks. Kukri, the stoic mantis knight, and Smash, an unbeatable beetle and champion of fools, have been sent to make sure their kin are under no threat. And forcing his way into the light, eager to prove his worth alongside such fierce warriors, is little Benedict, a brave drone with big dreams. They have descended into the maw, past monstrous teeth jutting out from the entrance, long tumultuous root systems, and have found themselves the potential prey of a boring beetle and his mates. Victorious, their pride shaken, they now turn their attention to a white sea of shimmering webbing. All right, so Smash, would you like to go first and tell everybody what your vibe is? Uh, hi, uh, so, okay, do you want me to do this in character or do you want me to just explain it? Uh, do it's... it in character. Do it in <laughs> character. If you want to introduce yourself in character and then out of character, read off your aspects and stuff, that totally works. <clears throat> I'm Smash. Perfect. Hi, I'm Octo. I'm playing. That's that's him. <laughs> that's it. That's that's all you get out of him. Lovely. Um. Uh. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, so you have to forgive me. Aspects are. Oh, those are my high concepts and trouble. Yep. Is that? What it yeah. is? Okay. Yep. Yes. Okay. So, uh, my high concept is there's a reason this beetle is named after Hercules, which basically is like he's very, very, very strong, but he's not always necessarily in control of his own strength. Uh, and some, he's a little afraid of it. Um, but that's sort of where that, that, that high concept is. I thought Hell that yeah. was neat. Um, trouble, which I'm very proud of this because there's like, three jokes layered on here uh, <laughs> his, his trouble is beetle mania is gonna run wild on you brother which is um in stressful situations he doesn't necessarily know where to direct his strength and it can sometimes you know he can lose control of himself uh and um you know direct his aggression and frustration to the wrong way uh and his other, this is, and now the, we all, you also have me put another aspect, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which just, yeah. Which is, um, which is in quotation marks. I didn't hear no bell, which basically means he doesn't really know. He doesn't really know when to give up. He's a little stubborn in that he's not used to, um, not sort of being able to fix a problem with the tool set that he's given. So he can, uh, not necessarily know when he's beat or when to give up. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> his stunt, and the stunt you wanted to know? Yep. The stunt's full <laughs> name. Give the, give the full people name. all the deets. They want to know it all. Okay. The, the stunt's full name is 
Supreme Neo Dynastis <laughs> Ultimate Final Atomic Genesis EX, which is uh, he can oh, throw he can throw anything into the stratosphere. He he can throw something does like doesn't matter his size because beetles can they can lift something like I think it's like ninety times their own weight or something like that. It's something insane. Mm. Uh, he can like throw something through the through the the stretch which he did last session he did he it threw, came oh, yeah. it, it was great yeah. he th he threw a man into space somehow yeah, team rocket style yeah it was great mm -hmm. yeah. he mm -hmm. dinged he glittered in the sky mm -hmm. <laughs> wonderful so there you go. um kukri okay um i'm playing a orchid mantis and she's very prideful and if she feels like you're weaker than her, she doesn't respect you at all. And she could care less what happens to you. She's not the nicest to people that are weaker than her. <laughs> so, uh, she, her, so do you want me to list like the high concept and everything? Yep. All of it. Okay. So my high concept is Crouching Mantis Hidden Beauty because she's, she's like a fighter and also very stealthy. She like wears a, a robe to kind of hide her like pink bright colors and uh <laughs> she also it also stands for like uh even though she looks really pretty to the eye she doesn't care about that at all she just cares about fighting <clears throat> and her trouble is the weak feed the strong which uh <laughs> she literally will eat people she doesn't care if she if they're under her and she beats them she'll just eat them or she'll attempt uh, to <laughs> yeah she'll try <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I have in the eye of the beholder which is also kind of goes back to like uh, she may look pretty but she's actually really strong and also um, it kind of is a play on the nail as well like when she hits stuff <laughs> with it like she holds the nail so it's kind of a play on that too and she's trying to use the nail to get information to get stronger so she's she's trying to get it to work because it's not working right now. Mm. And her stunt is called Blooming Veil. And it's like this ninja move where her her she she looks like a flower already because she's an orchid. So it like bloom like makes her transform into anything. <laughs> uh yeah. once. Basically like mantises already naturally have like a bit of camouflage, especially orchid mantises. So it's basically mm -hmm. just taking that to an extreme. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's pretty much her. Wonderful. Milo. Oh boy. Hey there, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Um, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little tiny uh, roly poly bell bug and I likes to do uh, digging. Uh, let me tell you about my high concepts and my troubles and my aspects. Yes, please. So, I, uh, first off, my high concept is I'm out for Geo. Look, I know what I want, and what I want is sweet, sweet Geo. That is my overriding life goal. That is the thing I'm I'm there for. Uh, my trouble is, look, I'm, I'm small, I'm stubborn, I'm a Taurus. You just gotta deal with me. <laughs> I do, I likes what I likes. And, the good news is... Uh, not a lot bugs me. One of my aspects is nothing bugs me. It's you know, I just, it's fine. Everything's fine. Like I'm still, I'm still digging. It's good. So yeah, everything's. I, I take things as smooth as can be. And then uh, my stunt is that once per session I can establish an aspect, which um, is basically, like I mentioned, nothing bugs me. As we play, we can create new aspects for that sort of scene and then use them. And I can do that once per session, just, you know, allowing an ally to invoke it um, twice for free. Or myself, I guess. Invoke it twice for free. So we can help ourselves with the power of Crystal Whispers. And that's it. Hell yeah. Tight. And last but certainly not least, our sweet boy Benedict. Hello. Um, I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing. I forgot little... that was your voice. I love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of forgot too, Jesse. <laughs> I'll I'll find it. I'll find it. 
Um, I'm playing Benedict, who's a little bumblebee, um, who belongs to, if you've played Hollow Knight, belongs to the Hive. Um, he's uh, He's got a little fuzzy, little big fuzzy neck fuzz, and he wears a little helmet on to keep it all enclosed. Um, his high concept is wannabe bumblebee, because he's somewhat of a wannabe knight. He really wants to be one of the Hive Knights, but he's, you know, he's a tiny, insignificant Hiveling. Um... Yeah, that's a that's a, a big point of pride in their culture, and he and he wants to do that, but no one really respects him, so that leads to his to his trouble, which is woe is B. Um, that you know, if 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 it rains, it pours. Like if if people break the fickle facade of of his uh, of his knightlyhood, then uh, then he really crumbles. And uh, yeah, it's it's not it's <laughs> he doesn't have much to go on with his with his uh, his self esteem uh, in the hive, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, life is pretty hard sometimes for, for Benedict. Um, his, his last aspect is bumble around because he just kind of like, you know, if, if, if he's told to do something by, by the, the queen or, or anyone else that's higher station, he will do it. He'll just bumble into it. He will not think too much. He just does. Um, he's not very perceptive. It's pretty forceful, you might say, in, uh, in Fate Accelerated. Um, which also leads to my stunt quite nicely, which is, uh, small b big world um <laughs> where anything he does forcefully he gains a bonus on because of his you know as long as he's still within the mindset that he's going to become a very powerful knight one day he's gonna charge head first into any endeavor um yeah that's 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 all that's benedict that's my little bee knight wonderful my sweet children so while you have your sheets open mm-hmm Please, will you add a new aspect, all of you? Oh. oh. What? What? Click the little okay. plus to add an aspect. And please mm -hmm. type in, I can smell it. As you've descended into this maw, into this abyss, you reach the webbing. And you can smell something. You're not sure what it is, but something is really distracting to all of you. But you're also realizing, because all of you have various ways of, you know, isolating pheromones in the air, etc., depending on the type of bug you are, you're able to isolate those things easier as well. So, I can smell it is an aspect that establishes a heightened sense of smell or ability to sense chemicals in the air. Um, but you're also distracted by a rotting smell that you cannot quite identify. So you all now have that aspect as well. Sweet. Hmm. So, you've come down to this sort of, honestly, it's, it's beautiful. It's glistening despite being in the dark. You could almost swear it was water when you were far away, but it's, it's thick and it's almost opaque and it's this webbing that is stretching far, far into the distance between all of these, these thick trees. Um, and also, the bits of the trees that you were able to see before, when you were noticing that they were finally starting to take on some kind of foliage, now that you're up close and next to this webbing as well, you'll notice that they aren't leaves. They're actually like collections of um, different shades and types of moss. And so that is what you see currently. I am going to give you guys those as aspects. So this is something that I was doing incorrectly last time, is that anything, oh. <laughs> anything that is um, just an already known element of the area is an aspect that is that is given to you for free. You can utilize it however you want, if it can be of use to you. So I will write these things down for now. And these are permanent. We just gain these permanently. Yeah, you because as long as okay. you're in the area or as, 
you know them to be true. So I see. the exam huh. the example that um that I saw before was if you describe an area and you say there's a river there, in order for people to use the river for something, you're not going to be like, well, you have to make a roll to see whether or not <laughs> you can use the river, right? And then you roll terribly right. and it's like, well, too bad. Now the enemy gets to drown you in the river because you rolled bad, <laughs> right? Like, you know there's a river there. So, right. so, um, webbing. That makes sense. Is a known aspect. Is that another one we add? No, 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 no. This is an aspect oh, okay. of the area. So this is environmental. Oh, okay, okay. If um, you need to make a roll and you think that that utilizing the webbing with a fate point will be of use to you, then wonderful. But these okay. are things that you that you just know about the area. Um, there's webbing. It's thick. It's opaque. Um, there are also still branches with moss. If anybody wants to come up with a better name for those, feel free if anybody's feeling punny, but otherwise that's what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you like to do? Hmm. The, the you just finished combat, right? Yes, so the, the scene, as I recall it at the end, is mm -hmm. um, Smash chucked Ips off into the ether. Um, True. The wives chased into the darkness of the trees. Um, Milo had been uh, had been poked clean through by one of the wives, um, but it yes. was only it was a mild consequence. So I guess Milo is a very good very good healer. If he just kind of sits and squats for a hot minute, he'll be fine. Um, so we'll say that that consequence Milo is gone now. Um, and any stress that you guys took during that combat is also gone, if you marked stress. Sweet. Oh, thanks. Um, so now you are, are just faced with sort of this wide expanse of webbing and the trees that are poking out from it. Um, I think uh, Benedict would run over to Milo and, and is Milo still on Smash's back? Uh, oh, I mean, I don't think I ever took him off. Yeah, yeah. I imagine I would still just be chilling there. Um, yeah, I guess Benedict would run up to Smash and look up at Milo and say, Milo, are you okay? Oh, <laughs> I'm fine. She just wanted to say hello. Uh, Milo, you, you took a pretty hard hit to the chest there. Uh, Milo taps his chest and appears to be fine. No, I, everything looks okay to me. Wow. <laughs> Puts his hand through the hole. No, it's <laughs> surprising. <laughs> He's hollow. Yo, yep, everything, look at it. Wow. Now I've got, now I'm a little bug with a view. <laughs> I, I guess so. That's amazing. Nothing bugs him. Um, That's true. Smash will. Does he actually have a hole through his body? Uh, he can. Like, he can decide. Hope. He can decide if <laughs> either the hole is there, but somehow it's like the the <laughs> circumference of the <laughs> hole has healed, and so he's just got a hole in him now. Or if it yeah, he's healed and he's back he's to normal. Fine. Great. He's got a little he's hole a little in him. Tiny, yep. A little tiny, a little pinprick of light sticks through him. Yep. Itty bitty um, hole <laughs> straight through Milo. <laughs> That's Smash amazing. will. Smash will take Milo off his back. And hold him in front, and sort of look through the hole like a <laughs> like a spyglass, and look over at Benedict, and look at him through the hole, <laughs> and sort of wave with his other, with his second one of his second pairs of hands, <laughs> and then put Milo back on his back. <laughs> wow, that's disconcerting. I think I would bow to Smash because he sent someone flying. Um. <laughs> Hell yeah, he did. Smash is very confused by this. He does not understand what you're doing, so he will, he'll crouch down. He'll think he'll crouch down. You're an <laughs> and then you go fighter. lower, and then he'll go lower, and then he'll <laughs> go lower, and then you'll go lower. We're just gonna lay on the ground. Uh, Smash will also lay on the ground. <laughs> you're a great fighter. 
some of the mm -hmm. tiny beetles from before crawl on your face. <laughs> um, Not out Smash of hunger, will... just right, just for fun. Just cuts, right? Uh, Smash will look at Kukri and say, "Great and fighter, not same." What do you mean? Fight is to hurt, smash, protect. Well, I'm just glad we have you on our side. Smash will stand up. Yeah, I'll jump up too. <laughs> cool. Glad we had that little moment there. <laughs> <laughs> Milo and Benedict just watched you both slowly lay on the ground and then have like a really layered conversation for a second and then just slowly stand back up. Definitely it's, like we lay, side it's like we lay down. A, <laughs> it's have like a, we lay a, down to look at the galaxy or something. We're just like, huh. Yeah. A Dow of Smash moment. <laughs> uh, okay, gang. Uh,. Oh, we. Uh, where are we going? Where's? Where, I, I guess our our objective is to go further deep, like deeper still. Um, but uh, I'm not gonna take point on this one. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Milo where I'm best utilized. I, I'm somewhat of a healer. I can help out. Um, and he clearly needs that, right, Milo? I mean, sure. <laughs> you like side eye look at you like, yes. I do. Yes, you do. So I'll stay with you. Maybe Kukri or Smash should go, like, take point. Oh, yeah, I want to I wanna poke uh, Benedict and be like, oh, yeah, and you. Hi. I don't need your help. Okay. I had that fight and had it under control. Yeah, uh, you were doing great. You were awesome. <laughs> Don't patronize me. What does that mean? So you're weak and dumb. No. Uh, Smash, Smash will, will interpose himself in this exchange and place a hand on, on Benedict and look down and say, Smash. Need B. Thank you, B. Yes, teacher. Always. Well, that just isn't true. But do what you will. Yeah, I mean, uh, you guys are really strong. I want to learn from you, if I can. Uh, I, I admit that I'm not as as quick as you, Kukuri, or, or as strong as Smash, but uh, to be honest, I kind of messed someone up back there, so I, I, I feel like I did my part. <laughs> Don't worry, pal. One day you'll be as strong and swift and tough as me. <laughs> well, you're definitely sturdy, Milo. That's for sure. <laughs> Can I ask? Yes, I'm so strong and swift and tough. Can I ask a question about Milo? <laughs> <laughs> we all want to know. <laughs> Milo, are you are you actually old? <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, like. Milo is a couple weeks old. Okay. Which in, in little tiny pill bug, that's like 300 years old. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. A couple weeks ago, I was born and now I'm old. Okay, tight. Just curious. Or maybe so not. We... No, 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 maybe not. Yeah, there you go. Ah, there it is. God damn there it. it is. There God it is. Perfect. So, from what you can tell, from where you are, um, there is no way to continue progressing down by way of, of the tree trunks. Um, the webbing has been, has been tightly woven around everything, uh, and it, it seems to surround all of the trees, at least from, from where you are. Can I go poke it? Sure. Just very gently prod the, the webbing with one of my tiny little hands. Mm-hmm. 
Um, you might have expected it to be sticky, but it is actually very soft. Whoa! Can I, can I, can I nuzzle up into the webbing? <laughs> Abs <laughs> absolutely. What do I feel? It's like the most comfortable blanket you've ever been on in your life. Benedict falls asleep. <laughs> oh. He's gone. <laughs> so I want to hit it with my dream like now. <laughs> you want to hit him with the dream nail? Not him. <laughs> oh. The uh, the the webbing stuff. Okay. Um. So a, a dream nail isn't an actual sword, correct? It's like a, uh, a handle yeah. with like dream energy on it, correct? Lightsaber. Yeah, no. yeah. So, I don't think it actually does damage. Yeah, so you, I mean, you you swing for it. It's nothing that you hit seems to be alive, so you don't even feel an inkling of yeah of any kind of like thought or even a, an attempt to push your way into thought. Um, but I will give you as a freebie because Benedict just went for it. Yep. One of the aspects of the webbing is that it is soft. Cool. Which makes for a very good bed to rest in. <laughs> I don't know if there's a long rest kind of mechanic in, the, in this because you don't really have HP like you do in D&D. No, yeah. I mean, since yeah, since it's just since it's just storytelling, yeah, you can be like, ah, we've fought. We could we could sit for a hot minute talk about oh, yeah, life talk and then we'd probably feel all right because <laughs> like the way that the um like like stress uh you know goes away consequences um depending on whether they're mild moderate or severe go away mm. at like specific points um, a mild one is meant to go away at the end of like whatever scene you're currently in which is why mm. in milo's situation even though i was like there's a hole through him um, it technically like was resolved the second that the fight was over, right? Mm -hmm. So it's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Hmm. Um, Put a Spider-Man Band-Aid on it. Yeah. yeah. So the idea of like resting, also fate points. Um, I can't remember if this is how it's supposed to work, but fate points at the beginning of each session, you just have three fate points again. Oh, cool. Um, you go back up to your your character's minimum, right? So yes. You may you may as well just use them if you're. You should the absolutely use them, and also yeah, I used all mine, I think. Also, like, try to keep them, <laughs> not to like shoot myself in the foot, but as players, try to keep them amongst yourselves as much as possible. You want to have mm. as much power in the game as you can, right? To like oh, establish right, things. Okay. So that's one of the the benefits of like compelling one another is you're literally giving each other your fate points. Um, uh, uh, Dodger? Yes. I would like to use a fate point. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. I would like to compel Benedict to have a dream about being a brave and noble bee knight Aww. and Aww, awaken so oh. and move, move be like we we can do it and lead us on take the lead <gasps> okay I would I will accept this compelling I would Wonderful. love to dream that great Benedict what is your dream like describe it to us while I put your fate point totals on you I I wake up and I hear Footloose playing and I, I jump out of bed <laughs> <laughs> I stroll and people acknowledge my existence for the first time um, people are waving at me smiling as I walk by um, I get given a, a big shield and a sword that are too big for me but I, I don't care, they're, they're light somehow and uh, I basically just save the day, I save the hive Vespa's proud of me, she pats my head it's pretty great, it's a good day um, it's the best day. Aww. And then, in the moment when you are about to take the stage and truly become a hive knight, you wake up. What do you do? Oh, not again! 
Um, yeah, also, I, I'm on the, the silk bed, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take just a little bit of silk. Um, can I detach some? From, can I, like, cut it out with my sword or, or anything sharp? Do I have an axe? What do I have? You can certainly try. Um, I, can I can try, yeah. <laughs> yeah, make a, make a forceful roll, please. Forceful roll coming up. Okay, you did not cut through. Oh my gosh! Um, what you it's... doing there, pal? Oh, I was trying to, I was trying to like fashion a little band-aid for you, for you, Milo, for the hole in your chest. Oh no! Oh, you don't need to worry about me, none. But I'll help. I will also chop at this. Okay. Oh, what has chop. happened here? Oh no! The chop. A six. You do not cut through, but I'm going to say that that is good enough that you have revealed. Again, some of the stuff that I'm doing today is just because it makes sense to me. So, yeah, sure. That, um, Benedict tried to cut through. He couldn't make it at all. You tried to cut through, and God, it, it seems like Maybe it's uncuttable. I don't recognize that. I will I will cut again. Okay. Did I gain a fate point, by the way, for that, for that compelling? You did? Yep, so you have four. Do I keep my ones from last time? Okay. You start with, you start with three. Okay, gotcha, thank you. So, sorry, I accidentally, I messed something up here. One second. <laughs> it is uncuttable. <laughs> Milo wears himself lower. out. Milo, <laughs> literally. Milo. Milo also falls asleep on the web. <laughs> Milo, what do you dream about? My, it, hold, it's hold the on. exact same dream, except... Milo gets out of bed, Footloose is playing, Milo <laughs> walks down the street, and like, all this, people hand him Geo, there's like a very sexy crystal with like a bow, like winking at him, there are these dancing pickaxes in the background, all the other pill bugs are doing sort of a choreographed dance number, and at the end, instead of, you know, going up on a stage and being presented with all these different things, at the end is just like this big chamber of, uh, up like, other sort of little pill bugs digging and they're all singing like a very great Disney-esque song and he joins in. <laughs> Wonderful. But because I realized Footloose was playing in the background, they're all just singing Footloose. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Um, just as you're about to be handed the most incredible gem you've ever seen in your life, you wake up. Mm. I almost forgot. Milo, you have two now, don't you? Because you compelled. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So Smash has three. Kukri has three. Milo has two. And Benedict has four. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. So, um, by poking and prodding, which I'm going to say is enough to discover these things, um... The webbing is not sticky. It is, it's soft, pillowy soft, um, but, but very thick. And it seems that no matter how much you try to cut it, even if Smash were to go for it, um, it's uncuttable. You cannot cut through it. Uh, Smash will sort of half-heartedly go up and give it a tug just to sort of <laughs> see for himself. Are like, you trying? Like he'll grab... He's not really trying to break it. He's just sort of testing the strength. Like he'll grab two, two, he'll grab with both his hands and sort of tug in the middle. You know, like when you test a rope. Mm. And it, it's just, it just does not feel like it would budge at all. It's taut. It's okay. like, okay. it's like a guitar string that is sure. 
tightened within an inch of its life. Uh, you almost It's almost impossible right. to grab a couple of strands. You're able to, ah. but you cannot move them. Right, okay. Um, Smash will turn around and shrug. What is this stuff? Where does it lead? Uh, when she asks, what is this stuff? Uh, uh, Smash will say, strong. We should see where it leads to. Yeah. Does it all go in one direction? It's everywhere. Or it's between. Oh, it's, it's between. From what you can tell, it's between all of the trees. Okay. Um. Milo. Yes. Your 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 treasure senses are tingling. Mm. Uh, do I detect the location of where this treasure might be? I think that if you made... I'm going to say a... Clever? Careful. No, we'll, yeah. go, we'll go with careful. We want you to, we want you to like, we want you to really hone in on your senses, right? Um, but you're a natural at this, so all you got to get is a two. Just make a careful roll. <laughs> Amazing. I want to know where the gold at. This man love Geo. <laughs> uh, like a pointer dog. Suddenly, Milo stands up and points directly in front of him. There's, there is something in that direction for sure. There's something down there. What's wrong? He dances about. He prances and dances. Are you still? Are you still on my shoulders? I thought I was on the ground now because you like got down and did a whole thing. Mm. <laughs> you guys <laughs> laid on the ground together. <laughs> call. You guys did a whole mouth, thing. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, Milo? Oh, there's Geo down there. Oh, 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 I feel pretty confident right now. Let's go. I'm going to start running down. Yeah, I, I follow. I follow like. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Smash will look around like we're we're doing this. OK, he'll, he'll go down. <laughs> so it's not down. It's it's. It's directly across, so it's almost like right, right, right. you've you've descended down, and now there's. It's almost like there's. You're in um, you know, one of those like extreme sports trampoline rooms. No, oh, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like an entire just floor of webbing, and it's it's really taut. It's just ever so slightly springy. For some reason, it's it's just so soft. Oh. Um, and yeah. If if you guys would can like we bounce? to, bounce. You can try. <laughs> I would love to just you know propel myself as as much as I could. Um, it doesn't it doesn't bounce you too much. There's a I'm little. I'm gonna still try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm gonna say in order to get this to <laughs> to bounce you, you're gonna have to put a decent amount of force behind it. So make a That's force. That's Benedict. <laughs> yeah, make a make a forceful roll in order for this to like get you higher than than a normal benedict jump would be it would be a five. Oh my yeah. gosh incredible yeah so you like nice. you know um you know when on a trampoline if you're if you're with other people uh oh, sometimes yeah 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 sometimes like even just the other person walking will will give you that lift mm -hmm. um you've followed so closely <laughs> next to milo and if you try to jump, his little his little pitter patter of feet will will launch you just a little bit higher. I like that. It doesn't Can get it doesn't get you anything except height? fun. <laughs> no, you get <laughs> okay. you get um, you get a face full of moss. Um, this, is nice. good. this is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, mostly you know you came from up, so it's it's a lot of the same. It's a lot of these these sort of um, strange root like branch things mm. um i'm gonna like yeah i was gonna tell smash that uh 
Oh, Kelly, your Can microphone is crackling again. What? Oh, no. What? Crackling oat bran. Ooh, you remember cracklins? No. Yeah. Y'all remember cracklins? Oh no. my God, it's cracklins. What are cracklins? Hold on. You know what? I mean, it's like it's pork like crackling? pork rinds, but there's like oh. a brand. Okay. That is cracklins. Crack yes. Cracklins. Cracklins. Also, cracklins. I think I think Octo was talking about actual crackling oat brand cereal, which is not what I was talking about. But there's two yeah. cracklins, and I yeah. didn't oh, know oh, about God. either of them. Pork rinds. There's so cracklin oat bran is like cereal that looks like squares. Like okay. brown squares, but like it's like if someone took Cheerios and were like no circles and make them brown. <laughs> that is that's what crackling oat bran is. Okay, it's the cereal my grandmother would always eat. Wait, no circles. What what shapes are they? It's a square, but like it's a hollow square. <sighs> hollow square. That's perfect. Oh, it's still crackling. And it's yeah, and it's is like it really, really yeah. dense. It's dense ass cereal. Mm hmm. Just, like, like cracklins, oh my god. Just imagine someone like frying up bacon, basically. Oh my god. Wait, bacon flavored cereal doesn't sound good. No, it's not. These are separate it's not things. Cereal. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is, this is, I'll just link this to y'all right now in our special chat. I'll put it in game chat too, because I love this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this cracklins. Oh my god. It's okay, cracklins. Kelly. Don't worry. We're on like a super tangent, so you've got time. <laughs> <laughs> Cracklins. This is some Midwest shit right here. This is so God, this is this also is... not at all what I was imagining. <laughs> I mean, Cracklins. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes. it sounds good. Yeah, okay. it sounds great. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I just keep changing my buffer size on my <laughs> my interface. I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's so weird. It came out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, RKO. only Discord. <laughs> Discord is the worst for that shit. Every oh, audio yeah. problem I have with my microphone is only when I'm using Discord. I know. Yep. I even resorted to Skype the other day, and it was yeah. fine. Uh, Jesse and I were on a call, and we had to use Zoom. <laughs> That's just oh, really? That's true. <laughs> yeah, you kept the, <laughs> you Zoom. Like, not being able to talk. Yeah. Why is this? I don't know. It's the worst. And it's always when I have to do something. Mm, always. <laughs> Yeah, just yell at me whenever it happens, and I'll mess around. Oh, no it. problem, no problem. Um, just to just to put a put a, a period on this conversation, I thought the first thing I thought of with cracklins is is that not also what you call when you take just the skin off of chicken and deep fry it? Yeah. Oh, it's the, it's yeah, the yeah, same it's, damn it's, thing. It's all yeah. that skin and fat and like garbage that's delicious. It's the surface layers, yeah, of an animal. There was a, <laughs> there was a sandwich. Oh, you guys are still in LA. Maybe you could find it. I don't remember the name of the place though. Anyways, there's a sandwich. Good luck. Good <laughs> yeah. luck, guys. Good luck. Enjoy. Yeah, great. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> there's, a, there's a sandwich. Thanks. There's a sandwich in Mid City somewhere that was a sandwich that had just just deep fried chicken skin on it. And I was like, what the fuck? This is incredible. It was basically a BLT, Whoa. but instead of bacon, it had the chicken skin and it was so fucking good. In mid good. city somewhere. <laughs> in yeah, mid city we'll somewhere. Don't yeah, worry. Enjoy. <laughs> just Don't Google worry, exactly how she described it. Uh, it's, I'm sure it's fine. You'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, some... Oh my God. Yeah, what, oh, what were I'm you just looking to do, Kelly? Pork rinds, I gotta oh. stop. <laughs> Smash is still back with me, right? From from like, my my visual of the situation is Benedict and Milo ran off like your sweet under ten year old children, and <laughs> uh, and you and Skipping Smash yep. sort of looked at each other and shrugged and are are a bit more cautiously following yeah. behind. Is that correct? Yeah, I was gonna tell him like we were ambushed. We should be more sneaky. Uh, these words do not register on Smash's <laughs> brainwaves at all. They he he looks at her sort of very blank slate. I guess you don't know how to do that, do you? Um, Smash is still. He's like. Kind of like looking left and right, <laughs> kind of like very like 
doesn't know how to answer this. Well, I'll go ahead, scout quietly, and I'll tell you if I see anything suspicious. Uh, smash nods. Okay, I'm just going to put the cloak over me and just be very, very stealthy, stealthily crawling through things and okay, jumping up and looking around. Sure. I like I like this I like this visual of approaches. Okay, <laughs> um, just running it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two of you are running. One of you is like the knight, and the other one is, <sighs> I imagine, just kind of strolling in, lumbering, <laughs> just, just walking. <laughs> yeah, just walking like normal. Yeah. Um, great. So as a as a reminder to you guys, since it's been a couple weeks since we played, um, mm-hmm. things that you can do is uh, if you feel like you are at any point kind of like stuck in the situation or like you have a, a good idea for something that might help, you can create advantages with your fate points. Um, you can give me fate points to essentially like establish something and as long as it doesn't break the scene, then I can accept it and be like, sure. Um, and you can also, of course, compel one another to do things that you think might be advantageous or funny. So, mm-hmm. sure. So yeah, you uh, you progress through. Honestly, it's it's still pretty quiet. If any of you were to get um, really close again to the wood, you might hear that familiar thrum from before. Um, that is up to you whether or not you would decide to ignore that <laughs> going forward or not. Uh. But as you progress, you will come to what appears to be potentially the edge of this area. Um, so surfacing from the webbing a bit, it, it's almost like it was an oversight to whatever made this web. There's this large growth that's sort of peeking out. It looks like the the top bit of something and it's mm-hmm. attached to the the side wall of this cavern. It's it's desiccated and shriveled. It's it's it, when you get closer it looks like it's crumbling in places kind of like brittle rock. Mm. And that's what you see. If if you wanted to How would to, you describe this rock? How would hmm. I describe it? Um, yeah. huge? You said, so, like, very large and brittle, right? Large, it, yeah, it doesn't, okay. it does not look sturdy. Great, Milo runs up and smashes it with his uh, pickaxe. Great, um, roll forceful. You need uh, a two, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say, fantastic. It is, it's not difficult at all. Um, how far behind would you say you guys are Kukri and Smash? Oh, like how far behind are we? Yeah, so Milo and Benedict ran ahead. They're they're smashing into this thing. Um, sure. I'm I'm willing to I let got you guys. A feeling. I know. I'm willing to let you guys sort of set the scene of how far behind you think you are. Can you see them? Uh, yeah, definitely. 30, we're, we're 30 not, feet. We didn't, 30, yeah, thir- we, exactly 30 feet. 31 <laughs> My feet movement speed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, great. Um, all right. So the second you smash into this thing with your pickaxe, there's this sort of, uh, this soot that just poof, poofs into the air. Um, inside... It feels so stale. It's dark in there. Um, that's all that you can tell from the outside. Hmm. It's big enough to go into? This thing is huge. It's way bigger than you. Like, um... The opening that he opened, though? The opening that he made is Milo sized, I'm gonna say. Okay. It's again, it's crumbling, right? So he didn't need to like carve out an exact shape. He basically went for it. All he needed was a two <laughs> and he and he met it. He went <laughs> right. for it and it it sort of just like naturally started crumbling away. I would say Milo can get through very easily. 
Um, Smash will probably have to do a little work. <laughs> Maybe Kukri. I don't know. <laughs> but um, it's definitely big enough for Milo to get in easily. So Milo has the best, like, idea of what's in there. But but still, it's it's dingy. So. Mm. Um, but in terms of scale, I'm trying to think of, like, like you as a people person. Um, it's kind of like if you were standing next to a two-story house. Oh. And it's, and again, it doesn't, this doesn't look like it's the full thing. It looks like this is peeking out from the web. It's the top part of something. The tip of the iceberg, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, Milo is like, all right, Tinkerball, <clears throat> let's go. And I tap on my little light. Wonderful. Did Milo have to stop and turn at all to, to see this thing as we went, went past it? No, he knew exactly where it was. Right, okay. I got the sense. Let me add this as a thing that you now know. There's a growth. Okay. Let me open a thing. Cool. <laughs> so your light is on. Um, it's, it's sort of like when you're driving and it's foggy, the light is on, it's, it's hitting something that's kind of resting in the air, right? Like you, you have like kind of an idea that there's nothing directly in front of you, but it's also, you're seeing lot, lots of like particles and soot. Is it, hmm. uh, thick enough that we're like... You know, coughing, or is it just like dingy? Um, I would say if if you're if you're just standing there, it would it would Im impede. Yeah, you would feel a little bit uncomfortable just standing in it. But it's not like I mean, this isn't. I it doesn't. You, it does not bug me. Yeah. yeah. This is. It's not like you're. Um, you know, opening up a wood stove and smoke is directly in your face, right? It's just there's this gotcha. there's this kind of weird stale like sooty particle that's it's my asthma. That's yeah, that you know, it would make yeah, you I, I, cough a little. I look for a way to go further in. I've been corrected that bugs do not cough, so you would do well, whatever bugs it is. Through spiracles. A bug would do. He would cough through his skin. <laughs> Wonderful. <Yeah. laughs> Your skin feels itchy. <laughs> yeah, I'm like that lady from uh, the last Metal Gear game. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> a little pill bug in a bikini. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's my character now. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Tinkerball and I will just move forward. We're just going to keep going. Okay, so Milo enters. Benedict, what do you do? Benedict is like, since his dream, um, he's still on cloud nine. He is happy together by the turtles. He's skipping in slow motion and just enjoying life. And then uh, once he sees the dark hole, he's just going to shrug and jump in head first. Okay, great. Um, since I believe you are the second biggest, I'm going to say that you going through, you sort of knock a bit more loose. You make the hole a little bit bigger. Should I roll a force fall or something to really like nah. slam it with my head? Nah, I don't think you need to. Okay. It's it's open, <laughs> right? It's it's an opening. This thing is crumbling. Um, Probably that makes sense. Yeah, you don't you don't really need to roll in order to get through there. I don't think. It's gonna give like Benedict is running at it head first, basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you are gonna basically slip and slide your way in there. Milo, you're going to see Benedict just fly by you and then disappear into the weird sooty siltiness. Um, there you go! <laughs> <laughs> Kukri, from the darkness, mm -hmm. from, your, from your stealthy place, um, you watch Milo bust a hole into a really weird thing and then <laughs> casually walk in, and then you see Benedict uh, having a great old time sort of turn around and dive bomb the hole and also disappear. What do you do? 
Uh, I want to look around and see what they're going into. Can I can I see like what it is at all that they're walking into? Um, is there anything around the area? Not really. This is it's it's a bit more open than the other areas, um, but definitely some of some of these uh, sort of root structures are attached to it um, in sort of strange ways. There's a lot of that open webbing in front of it. It almost, if this was a forest, it would be like kind of a, a mm -hmm. valley in the middle of, of just deep, thick woods. Um, so it's like a big tree with a hole in it is what I can see. It does not look like a tree, no. You can uh, try to discover something about it. Yeah. Okay. So if you Good. are, yeah, if you're observing it, um, you can make a, a careful roll. You're watching them go in. You're trying to figure out what it is before you approach it. Uh, okay. I'm going to say, let's see, what is it that you're trying to figure out? You just, you just, what what do you want to know about it? Um, I just don't want to walk in somewhere that <laughs> that has obvious danger to it around. Like I'd, I just want to make sure we're not walking into like a trap or like. Yeah. Or, okay. So you want to know more? Really, you want to know about the area around it more than yeah. The actual I just want to make sure thing. there's like nothing around that's gonna jump us, or there's like spiders or anything like that, because it's webbing. So, okay. Um, how about instead, uh, you create an aspect? Oh, okay. You can create the aspect and say how, whatever you would like to call it, but um, you can create an aspect that it's it's all quiet or something along those lines. Okay, so like if, you, if I don't say anything. So if you, yeah, if you successfully, if you succeed at this role, um, you'll be able to, to create an aspect that is essentially okay. like you feel at ease. But if you fail the role, it'll be, it'll be something similar to that, but it's, it's like- A negative effect? Eerie, <laughs> yeah, it's like eerie okay. silence. Mm. And it'll be something that I can proc. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's double check. So you're creating a situational aspect. Um, I wanted a four. <laughs> I rolled so bad. And you got a two. <laughs> I'm, I try to act all badass, and all my roles just suck. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kukri's posing. Um, yep. I'm so, faker. I'm gonna like if you would like to use a fate point and say, um, you know, let's let, let's look at your. Let's look at your I am stuff. very or, sneaky. Or remember, you also have the aspects that are on that are on the screen. Oh, yeah, you yeah. can uh, you can ping off of those if if you want to say like. I can clearly see the branches. I clearly see the webbing, whatever. Okay. Does that take a fate point as well? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Can I say in the, in the eye of the beholder, I use that to be able to see more clearly through the, um, like I focus my gaze. And I and I pay more attention to detail. <laughs> I squint. I, I would say um, that your high concept would help you more in this situation. That you oh, okay. you are, <laughs> you know, you you're a warrior, and you're a, you're a stealthy, you know, sort of roguish warrior. At that, you are able to observe situations and know if you're in danger or not. So that would automatically okay. add a two, and then and then you would meet it. Okay, cool. And then I just get rid of one of my fate points, right? Yes, and then you get rid of a fate point. So let's okay. do that for you as well. So you now have two. Okay. So, uh, because you met it, I just want to double check that I'm getting everything right. Mm-hmm. So you create the aspect, you get a boost. 
So you can use it um, once before the scene is done. What would you like to call it? Um, and this is just a like, I see nothing's there. Is what this is. This is this is you creating an aspect about the area. So okay. Um, we're gonna we're gonna put it as an aspect to the growth here. Um, and this is you saying that. Right, this this is you essentially wanting to say there's no enemies around. It's all quiet. Okay. You are you are at ease, yeah. So this is like the pseudo DM role of the players, right? Exactly. Where you yeah. can kind of impose something on the world if you roll high enough. Yep. I could call it Mantis Sight or something. Well, you want it to be something that other people could uh, ping off of. I'll, right? So okay. try, so How about try all to all clear. All clear. That's e easy simple. Yeah. Great, and you have one boost off of that. Cool. Wonderful. So yeah, the outside of the growth, um, you have created the advantage. It is it is all clear. There, As far as you can tell, there is nothing lying in wait for you. Okay, I guess I'll kind of look back to Smash and tell him it's safe and then just dart in. So you are also just diving into the hole. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Uh, Milo, in a in a wonderful comedy of events, um, you walk in. You see Benedict slide in on his belly. You see Kukri come in looking way more cool, but you are positive they're going to run into each other. Smash. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, hmm. Uh, so they're they're going they're continuing forward or wait sorry what are they doing? All three of them forward. have gone inside of the growth. Okay, and is am I? This is gonna be a this is a tight fit for me, right? Like this is this a is... this is a tight fit for you, but um, if you if you attempt to like make the hole bigger it's not going to be a, a difficult role for you to do okay, that. okay yeah yeah i guess i'll give that a shot okay forceful two wonderful Ooh. yeah so you you lumber over you approach the coast is clear yeah. right and uh how how do you do it do you just start like pulling little bits apart or do you literally just walk through it like the kool-aid man yeah <laughs> Okay, tight. Yeah, I just, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna Kool Aid man it. Okay. <laughs> just... <laughs> Would Smash say the thing? Would he know to do that? Um. No. Uh, <laughs> yes, I would say it. We've we've yes. established that there are some pop culture references that apparently exist <laughs> in our version of Hollow Knight. So if you want to say that you know who the Kool Aid Man is. Or that, yes, but or that he, you are the Kool-Aid man of this world. <laughs> yes, but he wouldn't yell it. He would just and go, Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Milo, Benedict, slides in on his belly. Kukri slides in, looking like a fighting game character. And then a <laughs> smash from behind you. Get it? A smash from behind you <laughs> as yeah. as rubble is just going everywhere and the towering figure of your beetle friend stands ready to join the group. So, because of the huge hole that Smash has made and also because of uh, Milo's light, um, more and more of this, this sort of silky silky silty dankness that's in there <laughs> is is having an opportunity to kind of you know evacuate it's it has right. there's more air circulation in here now um you're realizing that the the ground that you're on is is also this same material it is no longer webbing oh. um but it does descend a little bit and as it descends, it gets a little bit darker. What Milo! Like Milo! Y yes! You're a beacon. You're a beacon of light in a, a bleak and dreary world. <laughs> you have to lead us, Milo. 
how? Uh, so they all passed me? What is the? <laughs> it's just I'm just goofing. They're, you're all in the same zone, you're just basically. There in the entrance. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, Milo. Um. Oh, if that's the case, then Milo would literally just be still going forward until I find what I'm looking for. I'm not stopping. Okay. Uh, you're being pulled down. Um, describe this in a way that doesn't sound terrifying. Okay, so, um, uh, you know when you're on, like, one of those roller coasters, and yeah. at some point it takes you into a tunnel, and you know that part of the tunnel is gonna go down while you're still in the dark, and it's gonna be awesome. So terrifying. Uh, does that does that yeah. make it less terrifying or more terrifying? I mean, I, I, I understand. It's I so guess. so imagine like that kind of a dip. So you're on you're on even footing right now. Um you're you're not like slipping or anything, but you can tell that there's a point where it kind of harshly starts to descend at an angle. And it's just it's just darker in that direction. I, mean, I I I will still go down the the slope. Okay. As you go down, you will start to see a little bit of a glistening and womp womp more webbing. Obviously, mm -hmm. something came in here, realized, oh fuck. Right. We need to web this up. Mm -hmm. Um if you if you continue to go down, uh, yeah, you will you will find a new flooring of webbing. You will also see um, there seems to be a small white worm that's attached to it. Um, its body, much like the webbing is shining almost like a kind of stone and it's it's curled up on itself in death it's off in the corner but it's but it's dead as far as you can tell it's not moving i guess i mean character wise milo wouldn't care um mm -hmm. is there any other way to get de like Based on my tingles, my spidey sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or I guess Milo sense. Um, is the Geo down this way? Like, is it definitely it's, down in front of me? It's really close. Um, yeah. I would attempt to uh, find another way to access it. Maybe like going through the wall and around the the webbing okay you want to try to bust through now that you've descended a little bit you want to try to bust through the wall yeah and see if i can get around the webbing since i know i can't cut through it okay it'll be a two forceful two all right Whoa. okay yeah so you you wind up and you smash into the wall um and and it there's pushback the wall itself crumbles away, but you're realizing this is how deep the webbing goes from above. There's there's just a wall of web in front of you. Uh, Milo will continue to hack and see how much webbing there is. Maybe there's a, you know, just he's stubborn. Maybe there's a, a different area that doesn't have webbing. Okay. You, conti you continue to hack and hack and hack at the growth. Can I... Yes. <laughs> oh, can I hit the dead thing? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, what are you doing? Oh, I was going to hit the dead thing with my dream now just to see if I get any signal or anything. You... Hmm. Well, let's make a roll. Okay. No. Oh, yeah. You don't get anything from it. Um, is that all that you do? Uh, 
Can I see any wound? Can I inspect it to see if like I saw what killed it at all? Are you? I guess I'm asking. Are you touching it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. Are you replacing it immediately with a rock of equal weight? <laughs> this thing is about the size of Milo. Oh. Um. So yeah, if you if you want to thoroughly inspect it and like and try to move it, then that's that's one thing as opposed to just like I want to I want to look at it but not touch it. I probably would be afraid to touch it just in case it's like diseased or something. Okay. <laughs> so I, I might just kind of see like it, can I notice anything like very obviously about it? Uh The the thing that you notice more than anything is that it's it's curled up into a ball. Um okay. the, it's the the outside looks a little hard on it. Um, it was probably very beautiful, for whatever that's worth. It was probably a very beautiful worm, but um, <laughs> you are you are positive that it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just want to inspect it. Mm. That's all. Benedict sticking to Milo while Milo digs. Okay. Maybe clutches hand to chest when looking at the corpse, but moving on. Yeah, it's uh <laughs> This is like Minecraft bedrock. This is you you're hacking away, hacking away, hacking away. The floor is web, the walls are web. Um it's you're you're, you're sealed, like, yeah. Yeah, I see. But Milo, you're positive. There is there is something here. Still going, still digging. Okay. Milo. Milo. Milo is in a in a fugue state of digging. <laughs> <laughs> is it hard uh, to you're see? Not, you, you, you can talk to me all you want, but I'm just like. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, I don't, I, I don't feel so good breathing in all of this, uh, the stuff in the air, guys. Milo, why are we down here? Thought you said you found treasure. Fugue state. No. <laughs> Smash, what are you doing? Uh, Smash book. Um, so Milo's just digging away, right? Milo's, <laughs> Milo's. Digging his little heart out. He's basically like, like you were essentially in um, kind of this weird rocky like tube shape that went down and then had a had a web flooring. Now okay. um, there there's a situation that seems to be starting to happen where. He's chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, chipping away at this growth. And I think if you're observing, you would notice that uh, because he's focusing entirely on the bottom of this thing um, okay. or the bottom of what you can reach, uh, there's some instability starting to happen. Um... Uh, okay. I'm gonna wait and... Uh, well, I don't know. He, he's convinced that he's found something. If the instability gets to a point where I'm actually worried, I might have to pick him up. Sure. Uh, but it doesn't... It seems like something... It's a little unstable right now, but we can still support our weight, correct? Uh... The web can absolutely support your weight. The issue okay. is is the the parts of the growth above you. Oh. So again, if you're imagining that you were before standing outside of a two-story building, this is like right, right, somebody right, is right, chipping right. away at the first floor and hoping the second floor doesn't fall. <laughs> right, okay, yep. okay. Haven's territory. Yeah, it, well, okay. Well, then if, the, if it looks like things are going to get bad, I'm, I'm going to have to grab Milo, but I'll let him keep going for now. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that Milo has done, well, part of it, hmm. So part of it is the, the descending floor, 
And then there's there's the three. Well, it's it's circular though. I'm gonna say he's done about half of it. So part of it is is seeming a little crumbly. The thing the the thing that um you're pretty positive about is that the webbing is helping. The webbing is mm -hmm. helping to keep this thing together. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Keep in mind, again, you can create advantages. You can find out aspects. You can also compel one another if you know one another's aspects and try to get one another to do different things. I compel Milo to froth at the mouth over the Geo and go further into his fugue state. <laughs> pill bugs out for Geo, so it makes sense, right? Yeah. That's one fake point. Do you accept, Jesse? Um, yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. All right, sweet. <laughs> All right, Milo can now not be stopped. He's in it. So you now have three fate points. Thank you. Benji, you now have three as well. I mean, I wasn't going to stop neither way, so it's fine. Wonderful. So Benedict, do you, yeah, give me, give me the snapshot. Smash is just kind of observing cautiously. He's, Milo he's like, is in a frenzy. Kukri, what are you doing? I'm just kind of cautiously looking around still. Like I'm just on edge. <laughs> okay. It's, it's n honestly, it's height wise. Yes, it was huge. But once you're inside, it's honestly not that big. Like the circumference of this thing is not gigantic. Um, with Milo's light and with some, some of the sort of ambient light from outside when Smash kool uh, mm. you've got, you're able to, to like generally see what's going on. It's just kind of like you're in a dusty old house, you know? Um, you said it was two stories, right? And if you were, if you were to compare the height, it's not that oh, there okay, are actually two actually stories. Two stories. Okay. Yeah, it, that's just how, yeah. if you were trying to visualize how tall it is in comparison to your bug. Um, okay. So Milo yeah. is lost in the sauce. Smash is observing and Kukri is, is trying to find stuff or... Yeah, I'm just kind of keeping an eye out for anything that stands out or... Okay. I'm just wondering, because I was trying to find the source of all this webbing, so I'm just looking for any signs of it. Sure. Benedict? Uh, guys! Smash! Teacher! I fought the teacher! Um, Smash will, will look at him. <laughs> uh, I, th I, th I think you gotta put a stop to Milo. He, he He's getting lost down here. Uh, he's not really talking. He's not responding. I'm kind of scared. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Smash will look up at the the second, sort of above him. How does does it look like things are getting kind of bad? Um, the side that he's done is uh, there's some there's some, you know sort of bigger bits that are starting to kind of fall from the ceiling. There's some rockiness. Mm -hmm. You hear you hear little rumbles every now and then. Mm -hmm. uh, am I able to grab Milo or is he too far into the, the wall or wherever he's digging? He can't dig into the wall. The webbing is uncuttable. Oh, okay. He's literally, so this the outside like bits of this growth are what he's chipping away at. And he's basically mm. just going in a, <laughs> just going in a curve, chipping away at that, trying to see if there's any way for him to get through the webbing. Right, um, okay. Smash, you're huge. Absolutely, yeah. you can pick up Milo. Yes, yeah. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Smash, will, Smash will walk over and pick him up. He'll just like, you know, place a hand over his head and just sort of pick him up. Okay. Milo, what do you do? Uh, I mean, I'm still swinging at the uh, walls. Yeah, he's like, that sort doesn't of... change. I'm still yeah. wildly swinging at the walls. Uh, it, I'm not bothered that I'm being picked up. If anything, I think that you're here to help me. Sure. <laughs> um, he'll he'll walk backwards away from the wall, so he is no longer hitting the wall. <laughs> 
Still swinging. Uh, uh, Smash will move Milo kind of towards his base. So he's still holding him, suspended in the air. But he'll move. To, he'll move him towards his base and say to him, "You dig into rock. Do not let rock dig into you." <laughs> <laughs> Fuke state. <laughs> All right. It's frothing Still at the swinging. mouth. I got compelled to do it. Still yeah, swinging. Frothing at the mouth. That's right. Could we go underneath the, the webbing, maybe? That's literally, I mean, that's that's the whole thing right now, right? As you guys trying to figure oh. out how to get past the webbing. This yeah, webbing, was... it's it's uncuttable. It's everywhere. Um, but Milo is positive that there is something here. Again, it's not that big of a space. The only thing here is this curled up worm body um, that appears to be attached to the webbing somehow. Uh, a smash? Mm. You could probably like just hold Milo and, and, and kind of use Milo like a tool, you know, like a, like a drill. Oh, where drill? I don't know, uh, you, could, you could get us back out of here. Or we could just, you know, return to the surface and, and go in a different direction. I don't know. Milo said there was treasure, but I, I only see a dead body. Uh, let's see. Milo, it's it's so close. <laughs> uh, Milo is uh, actively like trying to squirm out of your like <laughs> trying to squirm out of your hands. <laughs> hmm. uh, let's see. So we can't um, go down. I have a feeling the bug is useful for something. <laughs> Above board, I think maybe the bug's the treasure. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Trapped treasure or something. Maybe I will just. Well, I shouldn't destroy it. I guess I will like, like pick it up and look at it more, not just look at it. The bug. Um, if you try to move it, it's it's quite heavy. It's like petrified oh. in a in a strange way. Um, mm -hmm. but. Upon trying to pick it up, it sort of rolls out of your pincers, so to speak. Um, and you'll see a soft glow that it's curled around. I think this might be what you're looking for. I'm going to, like, poke Milo and try to snap him out of it. Uh, Milo is like, you know... I, I imagine all of us bugs understand sort of staring into a light, that kind of vibe. Yeah. Where I'm yeah. just like, <laughs> and just, yeah, trying to grab at it. So you, are you, you've noticed this is what you're saying? Oh, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Wouldn't I immediately notice it? Yeah. Oh, I was like, Nyo. okay. It's his muse, his flame. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, this thing is much much like maybe a pill bug might. Um, it's curled around something that is glowing and warm. It's beautiful, Milo. Whatever it is, you don't know what it is yet, but goddamn. Yeah, I'm reaching with my little tiny paws. My mitt's trying to grab it. Okay, yeah. Um, roll forceful. Uh, because again, this body is like petrified. You're basically going to need to break off the leg. Look, you're going to need to break well, off the legs. Can I, I think I have to get him. out of the grip first. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see. Five, baby. Nice. Damn, oh, you get yeah. such good roll. That was with the, that was with the assumption that Smash would let you go. But Smash, if you want to yeah. say that you, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. If, he, if he's no longer trying to, to hit the wall anymore, then I have no reason to restrain him. Great. Was uh was Smash holding Milo like a basketball from above from the head? Yes, yes, <laughs> like <laughs> like like palming a basketball. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, because he's, very yeah. good. 
<laughs> he's brown, so you know he can get a he can get a grip on him. Good grip, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Milo, you run over. You're you're just voracious for this thing. You, it's almost like it doesn't even register to you that this is another bug. You don't you don't even care. You're ripping legs off, and you see a glowing charm with a honeycomb symbol on it. Mm. Me want honeycomb. Um, do I recognize it as Geo? No. It is a treasure. Yeah, you, you're positive Milo it's a it. treasure, but it's not Geo. Yeah, like, he looks at it and then tosses it over his shoulder. <laughs> and then begins to like dig through the rest it. trying to find something useful. If he threw it, I would catch it. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, it's a little charm. It's a, it's a circular, um, sort of golden colored charm, um, with a hive symbol on it. Do hmm. I recognize it in in Kukuri's hands at all? You don't, Do you, don't you don't recognize, you don't recognize what it is, mm -hmm. um, but you can all tell that there's something powerful about this thing. Mm. And you're saying the symbol on it is like of the hive. Mm. Mm. Drone, do you know anything about this? Nope. Uh, but you know, it kind of looks like the symbol from back home. Maybe that's why we were sent down here. I, I, I can't quite remember. So, who, if it's, hmm. oh, go ahead. No, no, no. What were you going to ask? Oh, I was going to say, if it's a charm. Yes. Like, would we, could we notice any effects from it if we, like, put it on us or? Um, or, uh... all you would have to do is hold it. You don't, you can tell it's powerful. You don't necessarily notice that it's changing you at all. Because you're still holding it, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm. Do one of you want to try? I get, I'll hand it to you. Uh... I will kneel down <laughs> and I will bow my head and then I'll slowly raise my hands together, cupped. <laughs> like you're accepting a sword. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you honor here you me, go. Kukri. Um, the second the charm hits her little bee paws, you start to slip through the webbing. Oh. Yeah. Okay, am I like, um, like slip through the world, kind of like fall it's, down? Yeah, it's like, it's almost like quicksand. <laughs> oh, God. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to probably scream. Uh, <laughs> uh, am I like, <laughs> am I falling quick, like really quick? Or do I have not, time to, to like, Not super quickly, because uh, again, it's, you've established this webbing is so thick and it's really taut, but something okay. is happening to allow you to pass through so he's not okay. falling to his death right I'm no he's he's it, he hasn't vanished <laughs> he just falls i was imagining like face through ground yeah yeah uh. it's it's like quicksand so it's it's gradual oh. um you you are finding it hard to make it stop on your own mm. okay well i'm gonna like huck the 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 hive charm onto the ground and let go. <laughs> okay. You'll stop yeah. halfway through the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I alive? Yeah, you're fine. I'm good, I'm good. Okay. But I'm stuck up to my yeah. tummy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> somebody oh somebody gosh. can try to help you if they want, but yeah, you, I mean, Wha it doesn't spit you back out. Guys! Wha Guys, I, I, I think this charm might allow us to phase through uh, the web maybe allow you from the looks of it what do you mean that didn't happen to me why not i have no idea do you want to try again i mean uh, not everyone can get it on their first try kukri <laughs> uh. <laughs> um smash will put out his hand to try to 
do you need to hold the charm? Yeah, pick it up. It's on the ground yeah. next to me. Oh, oh, it's on the ground. Uh, Smash will pick up the charm. Okay. You do not fall okay. through the world. Uh, Smash will look at the charm and then look at Benedict and shrug. And give him you the know, like, like you, you have to really kind of picture it, you know? Um, well, so you're, you're, okay. I'm You've... just talking up at them from half in the ground. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying, I was Smash. just trying to establish I'm, I'm, if, if Smash handed the charm back to you. <laughs> no, no, no. Smash, try picking him up while he's holding it. Maybe that'll help. Uh, Smash will hold the charm in one hand and pick and grab or put his hand on Benedict with the other. You start to sink through the world. Oh. Oh. Uh, that, that, that's it, Smash. Good, good job. Milo, what are you doing? <laughs> I guess I would still be tearing apart this thing, trying to find uh, any sort of geo, right? Your, I would not be paying your, attention to what's going on with them. Your mind keeps pulling you back to the thing that they're messing with. It's treasure, Milo. Maybe it's uh, worth Yeah, I turn, I, I turn around and see that they're all falling through the world. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you out! And I run over and start wildly <laughs> swinging my pickaxe at them. What? <laughs> to get us out or at us on our bodies? To get you out, not at gotcha, your gotcha, body. Gotcha. That would be <laughs> Just deadly. Checking. Just checking. So you're all touching? Content. I mean, uh, I'm not touching them. I'm just swinging at them. I'm going to push <laughs> Milo touching. into them, and then I'm oh. going to jump on top of them all. Okay. Like a like a sweet a sweet little pile of buggies. You slowly start to slip through the webbing. It almost uh. feels it's like um it's like you had netting that was holding you, like really strong netting. And the 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 threads are are breaking one at a time. It's very gradual. Um, as you slip through, you you see sort of glimpses of bugs, of weapons, trees, all kinds of things um, that have been encased in this webbing. Mm -hmm. Um, and eventually you will pop out and beneath you is this sort of, hmm, how to describe this? Uh, what am I thinking of? It's almost like this is not the a this gun. is it's a gun. So you mm -hmm. you you emerge yeah. from the Whoa. webbing and there's just a big gun there, which <laughs> seems yeah, so out go. of place. It's wacky. Um, <laughs> now, do we recognize it as a gun? As guns? You, do we have a concept of what guns are? You don't have a great mm. concept of what guns are, um, but mm -hmm. you can tell that this is like a foreign object of some kind. Um, it reads as powerful to you. Yeah. Whoa, epic. Mm, mm, mm. Now, is this a goof or is it a real gun? <laughs> God, I fucking wish this was the sort of game where I could be like, and it's a gun. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, the next, that's the next one. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, you pop out from the webbing and there's, there's sort of this, uh, this like light green um, mossiness that's underneath. Uh, but you'll notice that you're actually still inside of of this growth. Um, it it continued past the webbing, um, and it continues to descend. But again, not as not at like a, a break speed drop, right? It's it's still like kind of a gradual slope. But instead of there being webbing anymore, um, it's it's like this sort of soft light green moss um the outside edges are still kind of brittle looking 
Um, here, you don't have the luxury of there being a gigantic Kool-Aid hole. So mm -hmm. the, the air is a bit more thick with that sootiness again. Um, what you can only assume is, is like particles from the growth itself that have slowly just kind of filtered into the air and just kind of sat there, right? Right. Um, mm -hmm. but, uh, but yeah, you're out. You're out of the web. And do we stop? Like, do we physically uh, get impeded as soon as we touch like a surface? That's I mean, not your web? your your butts hit the moss. Right. Okay. Right. So that uh, presumably just above board that that charm only really affects things uh, through the web, like traveling through the web. As far as you can tell. As far as we tell. Cool. Gotcha. Interesting. <laughs> if I was playing Hollow Knight, I'd be going around with that charm smack in the wall. <laughs> Wow, Smash, how did you do that? Uh, Smash will, <laughs> Smash will kind of look down and, and say, Smash not do, you. Ah. Uh, yeah, you're uh, useful. Well, yeah, wait, what, 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 what did you just say, Kukri? I didn't quite catch that. Uh, you made yourself <laughs> useful. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm pretty useful. Yeah, like that time that I saved you. Um, anyway, so smash. <laughs> that was amazing. Damn. <laughs> no. No. You wish. You, you amazing. Yeah. Well, I guess we we can all be amazing. That kind of works, you know. Mm. Be a team of amazing people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, you, you, are you gonna hold on to that? Because you can clearly use it better than I can. Uh. Um. Smash will sort of close Benedict's hands around the charm and say, For now, you hold. Oh. Gets down on one knee. Thank you, teacher. Hmm. Wow, you must really trust me, huh? Smash. No. That you mean well. I do mean well. I, I consider myself a very good guy. Thank Smash you for recognizing see. that, sir. Smash C. Yeah. I can see too. I, I, I don't understand. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Smash will just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Can I? What is the thing you said was a gun? Can I hit it? <laughs> Nothing's a gun. There's, There's no, no gun. gun. There's no gun there. <laughs> There's, no oh. gun. There's two guns. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Dual so. <laughs> wielding deagles. Amazing. Guns akimbo. No, it's literally <laughs> like um. Uh. <laughs> So this web, it almost, it almost spit. I'm sorry to keep equating these to like really odd situations, but it's the only way I can do it. So, um, this you like slowly slip out of this webbing. It lets you down soft as pillows, right? Um, it's almost like someone really gently um, put you in a sleeping bag. Like it's, mm. it's kind of like cramped um, and dark again, again, visually. You have Milo's light, but um, because there are no holes down here, uh, it's it's just dense, right? It's you don't have very distanced visibility. Um, but beneath you, um, you can tell if Milo is looking around as well. You can tell it's it's like a soft, squishy moss. Is it comfortable? Yeah. Should I fall asleep again? <laughs> You're gonna have to add this as an aspect. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, yeah. Loves if you a try nap. To sleep. <laughs> if you try to sleep, I would slap you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Okay. So we we really can't see much apart from just the immediate vicinity around Milo, right? Yeah. You're all kind of, and again, you were all, you know, sort of like squozing onto each other in order to get through the webbing in the first place. Um, right. So, at least initially, you're kind of in a pile. A 
pile bundled. of bugs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Milo. Yeah. Milo, once again, we're coming to you asking for your help. <laughs> we need your light. All right, Tinkerball, they need us. Let's go. Um, I would like to once again rely on my ability to sniff out sweet loots <laughs> and uh, lead myself on. Okay. Do you want to roll on it or just as RP? Like, uh, I mean, you you tell me. I'm fine rolling. But um, I, you know, if you if you would like to create the aspect that they're that you're positive there's something out there. Um, well, I mean, it is it is my aspect. Or there's if geo you in them bar hills. Sure. So you can either create that uh, for the area that you're in, um, or you can try to discover something about the area that you're in. Well, you know what? I would like to use my crystal, my cri my crystals, whistles to be. <laughs> yeah. I would like to use. I'll use that instead. Uh, I want the crystals to tell me an aspect that I can use. Okay, fantastic. The crystals whisper to me once per session. Milo can establish an aspect about the location with style, and will allow him or an ally to evoke it twice for free. What aspect? Would you like to create? I'm going to say, um, hmm. You're going to have to specify if you want it to be for the growth that you're in or for what's outside of the growth. Uh, all right. So really quickly, can you sort yeah, of yeah. like visualize this bit for me so I can give you a good answer? You don't know what's outside of the growth yet. You haven't. So Right, but I mean like where we're at right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are um you are sitting on some real comfy moss in stuffy darkness, still inside of this growth. You're in like the bottom part of it now. Right, right, right. And there appears to be only one way forward. Yeah. I mean, and assuming you don't is... want to pop a hole in it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you... You can, you can continue to like descend. A, like a hollow of some sort? How do you mean? This area we're in, like a little tiny, like, cave? Is that kind of the vibe? A mossy cave? Um, you sort of no, you, I would say that, like, because of the level of stuffiness in here, um, none of you... None of you get the feeling that this goes on much longer. Gosh, like yeah. you you entered at the top part. It feels mm. like you're near the bottom now. It's like it's a little bit for smash especially it's a little bit claustrophobic. Like there isn't sure. there isn't Excellent. that much left in here. Well, I would then say that Milo proceeds to move forward cuz he was just asked to do so. And I will attempt to enter wherever comes next. And then I would like to use my crystals whisper to me. Okay. On that next area. Do you want to, you hit, you hit a wall. I try to break through it. Wonderful. Roll a forceful two. Shit's brittle. Oh. No. Nope. <laughs> No, no. Don't, why'd you gotta say it like wow. that? Shit's brittle. Like, <laughs> the shit, fucking it's, it's fucking easy, bro. <laughs> you suck. You're terrible at your job. You can't break through this. You have been going a while. You're probably tired. You've had a lot. out. To be fair, Jesse, you've had insane rolls today. <laughs> yeah, you, I got all fives. Um. So yeah, you can you can spend a fate point, invoke one of your aspects, and say I add two, and I and I. Yeah, I'm small and stubborn. I hit it. Plus two to that. Okay. Yeah, you you go for a swing, and uh, it's it's you know because of all the soot and the and the, and the stuffiness and like not being able to see very well, you kind of like just graze it, and then you wind up and you smack, and you create another hole. Um. Once again, I'm gonna say uh, because you're just meeting it at a two, uh, it's a it's a Milo size hole. 
Great, yeah. All, only Milo goes through. Milo only only, only Milo not, can fit through right off the bat. Yeah. Milo does not particularly have an interest in whether others get Geo. Sure. Only Milo. Uh, yeah, so Milo sort of like squeezes on through, like, Ooh. and then he could have, there you go, uh, it's gone <laughs> on the other, through the, through the hole. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the rest of you, did you follow Milo to the wall? Did you wait to see whether or not he got chomped by something? Uh, I would have waited. I, def I definitely would wait to see what happened to him. Yeah, I was sticking to Milo because Milo's the light. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah. True, true. I always Just keep a little distance. <laughs> um, so Milo walked through. Benedict, would you like to? Uh, but once again, probably go turn around and go. Uh, I I feel like I have deja vu or something, guys. Uh, what, what do you want to do here? Because uh, Milo's gone again. That's the Kukri and the Smash. Uh, well. Cannot he, believe. He led us to something important last time. How do we get in there? Uh, well, I mean, Smash could probably just punch a hole in the wall. Yeah. Uh, Smash sort of furrows his brow a little bit at that. You're, you're very strong. You're very big. You're a powerful teacher. You could probably punch a hole in that wall in the whole world. Uh, hey, hi, hi everyone. Hi. Um, I, I would like to, I don't know if you were going to, uh, but, <laughs> Benji, but I'm going to do it. I compel you! <laughs> yeah. Man. There you go. I was moments away. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? Oh, let's not even take a chance. Don't even ask him this question. <laughs> I compel you to do it. Okay. Uh, I have to do it, right? You can you reject don't have it. To. You can say no. you, you can say no. Have, I don't. Right? Yeah, absolutely. You can a compel. It's like a point trade. Yeah. So yeah. if if Milo says or if Jesse, because it's the right. players, if Jesse says. Octo, I'm compelling your character to do this thing. He's offering right. one of his fate points, right? Okay. You you okay. can say no, but it means you have to give up a fate point. Okay. To well, say no. I I will. I'll do it, but I won't be happy about it. Okay. Right? Can I have that? Can I have that attitude? <laughs> Absolutely. Describe okay. how you do it. Um. Okay. So. Milo popped through this tiny hole in the wall that is far too small for me, right? Mm. And, and yes. the other larger members of our party. Um, okay. Uh, sorry, I missed this. Was this hole already there? This was a hole that he Milo found just made. Milo but, just made this hole. Oh, he made the hole. Okay. There was no hole um, before. Okay, there was no hole. So he made the hole. All right, so uh, Smash uh, will walk up to the hole and he'll use both sets of his arms. Oh my and, god. <laughs> uh, he'll haul back and like like on one leg and then kind of go forward and like with all four of his arms against the wall. Try and break, make the hole bigger, I guess. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a forceful two. Again, it's... <laughs> I shouldn't say that. It's not hard, okay? Yeah, you crushed it. One, one uh, die for each arm. Um. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you make the hole much bigger, and it's fortunate too because if if Benedict had tried to slip and slide through that hole like he did before, um, maybe so. You re you realize that uh, as you gaze out at Milo. Milo is casually standing on what looks like a long, narrow branch. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's sturdy, but it's it's pretty narrow. Um, okay. And as you all look out, you'll see that this growth that you were inside of is not the only one. Looking alongside the edge. 
there's at least two more off in the distance, sort of descending down, but gradually. Um, once again, there are branches everywhere. The moss is, is much thicker on the branches and on the trunks here. Uh, again, there's, there's sort of interesting multicolored fungus. There's much more life down here, um, but it's also that smell. That smell mm. is oh, much stronger right. down here. Um, and it's still not, it's, it's something, any of you who have been around the dead, you would know it's, it's a, it's a smell of decay. There's, there's something rotting down here. Um, but you're not, mm -hmm. you're just not sure what it is. Sure. Um, I'm disgusted. But it seems like the, the branches, even though they are like kind of narrow, uh, they all cross amongst each other now. Whereas before it was like they were, they didn't quite touch one another. And so the webbing was able to make, you know, bridges all the way around. Um, mm -hmm. Down here, it's, it's so much thicker. Um, these, these sort of spindly bits are all over the place, weaving around one another. Um, and yeah, this, this really honestly beautiful moss is everywhere. Um, you can hear kind of some, some chirps off in the distance and, mm -hmm. uh, way down below, there's kind of the hint of light potentially. Hmm. Um, Benedict's gonna be like, EW! What's that smell, guys? What the hell? Milo, did you toot? That's death. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I get excited uh, when I get near my geo. It does smell like death, you're right. Uh, can I use my uh, yes. crystal whisper? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what what you see around here is what I described. There's there's uh, lots of what again from afar looked like foliage that you now realize is just this sort of intertangling of um, these what appear to be branches. They're all over the place. Um, if you were careful, you could you could definitely like get from tree to tree easily on them. Uh, there's moss everywhere, and again, there are more, uh, more of these big growths. There's one. Sure. There's one maybe like your your uh, your movement speed away from you. You know. Then I would like to create an aspect called balancing act. Okay. Where uh, our group here will have at least two bonus chances should we decide to cross these branches that, um, you know, if you roll terribly, you can add points to it and succeed. Perfect. Wonderful. Interesting. Good idea. You're welcome, team. But Thank looking you. out. And really, just... I should be saying you're welcome, Smash, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> team effort. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would you like to do? Uh, well, I am going to go across these branches. I mean, like I'm just going. Okay. You wanna you wanna go straight across? Well, uh, do I get a geo vibe? Mm, much as before, you were drawn down. Um. Mm. Uh, it it looks like there's some there's some sort of. Well. Hmm. The most obvious way to proceed safely is is directly in front of you. Well, then I will safely do so okay. and proceed across the branches. So to to kind of give you an idea of, of space again, this this growth that you were inside of for that whole area um, was up against the wall of this cavern, right? So you're you're alongside one of the edges. So you you basically have the whole area apart from that in front of you. 
Um, from what you can tell, again, uh, say that you're standing with the with the wall to your back. Um, to your right are two more kind of descending growths, and directly in front of you is just lots of greenery. Mm, but Milo's still our only light source, right? Uh, there's some there's some kind of ambient light coming from down below. It's not nearly as dark anymore. It's definitely not sooty. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, enough to like kind of see around a little bit. You're okay. Yeah, it's not okay. it's not you know bright daylight, but you're all in hollow nest. No. You kind of you have a, a vibe for the dingy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I think Benedict would probably follow after after Milo, but probably feel a little bit less worried because he has wings. Um, so I'm going to strut confidently behind Milo. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to swing my arms while I walk too. Um, all right. For, let's do this in order then. Milo, please make a careful roll. I'm going to okay, say... that's not good. I'm going to say you need a two. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not good. <laughs> but, well, Benedict, I didn't ask you to do a careful roll, so... Oh, Milo. <laughs> Sorry, Milo. It, was the, it was afterwards, that's why. Yeah, Milo, Milo made it. Thank God. <laughs> so Milo has taken his time. He wants to make sure that when he's where the Geo is, he's alive for it. Yeah, I'm like whistling as I like tip tap my way through the branches. Yeah, you've been you've been in precarious zones before. You know how to handle yourself. Hopping, you got good balance. Hopping back and forth. Yeah. Benedict, um, I feel like from your description, uh, you wanna you want everybody to see that you're feeling like pretty confident about walking along here. Oh, I'm having a great day. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need you to roll flashy. Understood. I need a two. Well, okay. I don't have a two for you today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you do have my aspen. And you have a free ping on the balancing act. Would you like to use one? A free ping. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like I almost, I almost want to save it for smash because I have wings. Sure. Yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna take the full. Okay. <laughs> so let's yeah. let's double check. Um, I'll glide if I fall, of course. Um. Okay. So we're gonna say that you, yeah, you you succeed, but at a like a really minor cost. Um. Mm. So you like, you're you're strutting along. You're feeling pretty confident, um, and these these branches they're they're very um, twisty, and yes. your foot gets caught in one. You start flapping your wings wildly, um, and you're kind mm -hmm. of like flailing there for a second mm -hmm. uh, before you're able to sort of right yourself, and uh, your and your little footy hurts a little bit. And I and I'm well, my, the, the physical pain is is far diminished compared to the emotional pain of, of seeing if Smash saw that because that's really important to me that uh, he didn't see that. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I, did he see that? I don't know. Smash, did you see that? Could I invoke an aspect of distraction <laughs> that something happened at the exact same time uh, look at look at attention away? Look at Smash's <laughs> aspects. Can you, can you say you didn't see me because of X, Y, or Z? Hold on. Uh... This is quite important to my character. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> no, take your time. I'm so glad that you guys are like are like trying to trying to do some stuff with your fate points. It's great. Mm, I guess I can't like create an environmental bell because he didn't hear no bell, so that's not gonna work. I I, I don't really think there is anything that I can use on his character. Beatlemania gonna run wild on you, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't see how that comes. Do a wrestling play. move. <laughs> All right. Yes, again, I'll take the full. I'll, just, I'll let him see what he sees. Okay, smash. Mm -hmm. You, poor Benedict. You see him strut off, and then eat shit, and it's very embarrassing <laughs> for him. Uh. <laughs> Smash will will chuckle, but he pretends that he does not see it. He will slowly <laughs> turn the other way. He'll, he'll kind of la do it like a, and then sort of like pretend and like 
very obviously pretend that he is not looking at Benedict. Benedict, Benedict believes it. Yeah, I was gonna say, Benedict, do you believe that he didn't see? Okay, wonderful. He, like, actually wipes the sweat off brow and is happy, you know, yet again. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Removes Terrible. helmet. <laughs> yeah. Ring, rings out fluff. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. Great. Wonderful. All right, um, on. Okay, so who would like to progress next? We got Kukri and well, Smash. Uh, is there a, You can go oh. first if you want. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll go. Uh, I'll, I will progress. Okay. How how are you progressing? How would you how would you like to to tackle this weird fl- kind of like sketchy flooring of of twisty branches? Um Can I actually just sort of like just run? <laughs> just sort of like just that's actually like what I was full, gonna do. Full speed it. <laughs> I was gonna use my quick. I was gonna do the same thing. Sure. I mean, quick is okay. Surprisingly oh fast for a big guy. Just roll yeah. quick then. Is that? I. <laughs> I guess I meme. I'm forcefully trying. Forcefully. No, make I, my way across the branches. <laughs> like, uh, but it 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 kind of is forceful. But I think if if you're specifically also, saying you want to get across as fast as possible so that you just don't have well, to deal with this shit, then yeah, yeah it's quick. Actually, um, that's uh, to be fair. That's actually kind of out of character for Smash. Smash will be very careful and try and and look at like where he's stepping and you know if he's gonna break anything, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Um, Smash, you're you're much bigger. Um, I'm gonna say that your your careful roll is a three instead of a two. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay, smash. Wow. Do you have an aspect that you would like to try and use? You also have balancing act. Um, you can also okay. you can also use the branches with moss aspect as it stands. Oh, sure. I'll use that. What does that do exactly? So you you would say like um you could say cuz this is just a known aspect, right? You're like you're you're among these mm-hmm. like tree things. There's among moss. Us. You see it, right? Mm-hmm. Um it is an <laughs> aspect. So if <laughs> yeah, if you if we're saying that like you're walking along carefully and and shit starts to break underneath you. Um you could use a fate point and say, I want to invoke the fact that uh, there are tons of branches everywhere, right? With this moss, sure. like I can yeah, I yeah. can grip onto something, I can find a thicker branch, right? Whatever. Sure. Um, yeah, yeah. And you also have that balancing act, which you can use as a free ping, so. Okay, sure, let's do it. So I'll spend the fate point. Okay, so you're gonna spend a fate point on branches with moss which will take you to zero um balancing act will take you to two okay but you need a three um (laughs) but again i mean like you know i got benedict failed by one benedict failed by one and Mm -hmm. he just yeah Yeah, i maybe weigh a tenth of, of maybe even less you know but it, but it's still like it's the it's the the principle of the thing in terms of like disparity, right? Like to fail yeah. by one is a completely different thing than to fail by like six, you I know. Just want to see him cannonball down this hall. That's all. Yeah. So look, I might I might be too too gentle of a DM, but to me, it's more funny for us to say like Benedict failed by one, and now like he had a really embarrassing moment where he thought Smash might not think he's cool anymore, right? Like, I'm fine. Can, I, no, can, so I, I, say that I, can I say that I intentionally failed by one so I have the same at, thing happen to me so that Benedict doesn't feel bad about it happening <laughs> to him? <laughs> that's, uh, that's beautiful. You know what? Sure. That's precious. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> okay. Would you like to describe you uh, trying to carefully walk across the branches... And then, almost, almost too well, making it seem like you might f- fall to your death. Yeah. 
uh, and then I'll slip and fall. Well, I'll fall kind of like smack my, like kind of fall on my stomach a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and then sort of look up at, at Benedict and give one thumb up. <laughs> Gives two thumbs up back. Yeah, okay. Happens to the best of us. That's mm. you, by the way. Mm. Stop it, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I broke... Full disclosure, <laughs> I was looking at Smash's aspects, thinking of what I could do to make him fuck up. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was planning Oh, and then, wow. it, and then it turned wow. wholesome. <laughs> Listen. You didn't have to admit that. <laughs> it could go either way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so. Um, Kukri. Yes. How so you... how far is this, like, the branch leading out? How far is the place we're going towards? Like, what I was thinking You're... is I roll, like, I do... Sorry. Oh, I was thinking that I try to, like, be quick and also jump, like, make a leap as far as I can so I can uh, kind of leap over the, the branch and land somewhere. Oh, interesting. So you wanna you wanna try to like leap from branch to branch. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um hmm. What would that be, do we what would that be? I precious? think it'd be quick. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna I would think that that's like kind of a clever approach. Well, the reason I say quick is I'm literally using my agility. <laughs> sure. Uh, but, like, whether you do it... Because everything I do is clever. I'm <laughs> I, from my perspective, it's like, if you attempted this fast or slow, it would it would be the same, probably. Um, unless you're saying, like, you, you want to get, like, a running jump at it. Um, That's what I was thinking. Okay. I was trying to get as far as I could, like, over all the, the weak looking <laughs> branches. <laughs> I thought you were hey, people. I was going to say, over all these <laughs> weaklings no, beneath the me. <laughs> yeah, that too. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Sounds good. Uh, so, what? Hmm. How are you trying to basically start at one tree and leap across to another tree and then leap across yeah. to another tree. Okay. We'll say that that's a three with quick. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Why is my roll so bad? <laughs> I have uh, the worst same. roll. There's one free ping left on balancing act and, and above board. Um, I'm not going to make you guys roll again to see if you fall later on. We're just going to say that you guys get the hang of it and are able to progress. So mm. uh, if you would like to use the last balancing act, um, that'll take you Wait. to a two. But you're going to oh. have you're going to have to describe um, an embarrassing fail with this. You still I, land, but so, but you have to everybody has to see you do something real fucking stupid <laughs> <laughs> just to so just to keep it all on brand. Three, well, when you said three. Yeah. Was I supposed to do something? Because I just clicked my quick macro. Yeah, you just you just click the quick, and then um, oh, okay. so it's it's saying that uh, with the with the fate dice plus two, which the plus two is is your quick, right? So with the fate yeah. dice plus two, you got a zero, unfortunately. But oh. um, if you use balancing act, which you can use for free, and you don't have to use a fate point, um, that'll that zero will go up to a two, right? And if the oh, goal was three, okay. then we're saying like. Yeah, you didn't quite make it, but it's not so bad that I give a shit about making it like really impeding. Um, Benedict also didn't make it by one. Smash also didn't make it by one, and we just said that they ate shit a little bit. So, oh, okay. so Kukri, <laughs> would you like to describe how you eat shit a little bit in front yeah. of all of these weaklings? <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess. Okay, I'm trying to think. I guess I misjudge the distance, and I like jump a little too. Like, not far enough, I guess. And I, like, maybe I'm, like, clinging onto the side and I have to, like, clumsily climb up or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. she, she does this beautiful run. She leaps through the air. You know, she's got this beautiful cloak and all, and, you know, 
the the colorful aspects to her body just like flying through the air like a ballerina and then as she tries to land you just see her fucking <laughs> scramble to hold on <laughs> Like a cat when it like falls off something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. When they majestic their jumps. Majestic exactly. until they land. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but aside from that first jump, aside from that that first moment where all of you kind of missed a bit, uh, you're able to progress in in any direction that you would like to. Wonderful. Well, I'm following Milo. Yeah, I guess I would continue leading on then, and um, just uh, our efforts are to go down like these branches. Is that kind of the vibe? You are positive that there's something below. Um, as of right now, a lot of like f from where you're at currently, the the mm -hmm. branches mostly are overlapping in a way where it's created like kind of an even floor. It dips occasionally, um, but it's not like. There isn't like a beautiful wooden staircase. Can I scooch those dips? Like, shoop, shoop, shoop. you know what I'm talking scooch about? Like, those shoop, dips. Shoop, shoop, shoop. Yeah. I'm not sure. Could you describe in detail what you mean by scooch those yeah, dips? Yeah, so you know, you know how like, you know how like you can like uh, weave a wobble, even, but you won't I fall down. You can scooch those dips. You can snooch the holes. You know what I'm saying? So you're saying you're saying that like you wanna you wanna see if you can wiggle waggle your body. Yeah. In, in between if some if of the big branches. Enough to like, yeah, to go down and sort of make it into a makeshift ladder. Like, uh, uh, as if my body were a plinko. You, okay. You would like to kind of like take, almost like, <laughs> Almost like when you when you get uh, like a moving box and you're and you're sort of like putting the cardboard bits like underneath or on top of each other like in a specific fashion. You want to do that with the branches and sort of try to like train them to uh, lap I with each I other. Just go. No, I just want to go down the. I want to see if I can go down these branches in a way where I won't just fall. Okay. Um. If you if you try Milo, itty bitty sweet pill bug Milo, um, mm -hmm. if you try to try to sc scooch the hooch or whatever it is that you were saying, uh, snooch the hooch. Sure, yeah. okay. <laughs> uh, it's dense enough that yeah, um, you would be able to find something to land on. The issue yeah. is that uh, you are the smallest of everybody else. That's a shame. Milo's like, follow me, and then gets to go down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say in order for you to uh, get all the way through and land, it's it's forceful. You're trying to push these branches out of their natural state. Wonderful. Five. Yeah, it's <laughs> easy. Five. In incredibly. I, how are you rolling so many fives? It's must actually be nice, uh, Jesse. It must be That's, nice. It must bananas. be fucking nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's um, stealing all my points. <laughs> my yeah, Milo, uh, you easily, easily find the perfect spot where you can just kind of like snap some of the branches off to the side or like encourage them to, to wiggle away from you. And you sort of, you sort of slip down and there's branches almost directly underneath you. So you're able to just Come drop, on, drop down. <laughs> <laughs> Does that echo throughout the cavern? Absolutely. It's <laughs> it's like you're surrounded by Milo's. It's kind of horrifying. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Um all right, yeah, I guess just I'm basically just sticking to Milo at this point. I trust in Milo's senses. Benedict's um Milo led us to the to the honey charm already and and also, you know, he's confident. Benedict responds to that confidence by trying to be confident himself, so he's gonna follow. Okay. That's how idiots end up in charge, so this well, is great. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, how would you like to try to get through? As a reminder, again, just, just to make sure that we all remember, you can create advantageous situations for yourself with your fate points. Right. You can find okay. out aspects about the area that you're in or create them, so. I think I'd like to uh, find out an aspect about the area. I think I'd like to sort of inspect. And while I'm walking, just, you know, bumbling around, 
my head, my mind is wandering, not really looking where my feet are going, which is apparent based on the last roll. Um, I'd like to just sort of look around the whole place and and see where we're headed, or see you know uh, the obstacle in front. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you you want to find out something about mm. um, what you're area. walking on, or just about the area in general? Oh, I guess yeah, the, the immediate obstacle, if if that's possible, that would be nice. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, wonderful. So. because we haven't done it yet today. I'm just double checking, making sure I know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are trying to... I'm gonna say you can't, so you can discover an aspect or we we can say that you're trying to overcome a problem. Hmm. Okay. If you would like, walk. if you would like to overcome a problem, um, different. then, yeah, because a, an aspect is something that you can like utilize later I or see. like find out about. Um, but overcoming the problem is like, all you have to do is tie for us to just say like, yeah, you did it, you overcame it, and we get to just figure out how it is that that happened. Right. Okay. Interesting. Uh, well, I mean, okay. I think then th it's probably not super necessary um, for for right here. I think Benedict might just head first, you know, head down, arms back, run forwards, uh, jettison himself like Luigi, and and just go forwards. Okay. Try and maintain pace with Milo any way he can. Uh, well, let's roll to see if you overcome. So how would how would you like to try to follow him? Do you want to try to force your way through after him? Yeah, I don't see Smash uh, like being able to set up a punch here and get past me on this tightrope situation. So I think <laughs> head first, yeah, head first into the into the blind Milo. Okay, so uh, roll for forceful. I'm gonna say that this is a three for you. Okay. Wonderful. Hell yeah. Um, he, you know, the way that, cause he rolled a five, right? So he, the way that he like broke branches and sort of scooched stuff away, it's almost identical to the situation before where he created the Milo hole and it was like almost <laughs> big enough for you. Um, yeah. You, I have deja vu again. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, you accomplish it. You get through just fine. There's, there's no, no bad side. Hmm. I'm going to have to come up with a stunt to do with this whole Luigi headbutt thing because it <laughs> seems to be recurring. Yeah. All right. That's, uh, yeah, that's me. I'm going to stick to my life. Okay. Kukri smash. What would you like to do? Uh, I don't know, Kukri. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're all just going like he's there's <laughs> there's a branch and they went through the wall, right? Milo's Milo's decided that he wants to figure out how to go down now. Oh, so he okay. essentially there's like a, a a flooring of branches, and he was like, "Fuck this." and squeezed through some of the branches and has dropped mm -hmm. onto branches that are a bit lower than where you're at. Um, and Benedict followed him with stars in his eyes. <laughs> Can I look around and see if there's any <laughs> kind of like one that's going straight down, kind of like a vine, like a, like firefighter style slide down or something? Oh, sure. Um, would you like to roll careful? Let's say that you're, obser sure. you're observing the area. I have no faith in my rolls. Um, we're gonna we're gonna say that that's a two. There there are branches yeah. going everywhere. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> so that's fine. We can we can say that you you find it. Um, but it it takes you a while to get down there. Um, or you can wait. Oh shit! Was the second balancing act used? Fuck! Did I not mark that? 
Son of a no, bitch. we've only done one so far, I think. I think I stole it, right? I think. I think? I don't know. <gasps> well, there's definitely one left. There's one left. Are you sure? I, I know I used it, I think. We if used, I wasn't sure, used... would I say it so positively? <laughs> I thought we that's... I thought Smash used one and Kukri used one. I thought. Yeah, both did. There's definitely okay. one left. Oh, Octo, Octo used, no, because Octo spent a fate point to use Moss and then also used a free ping for balancing act. And then yes. Kukri used a free ping for balancing act, correct? Yeah, and you said that we wouldn't roll for balancing act again. And I think that implied oh, that it was used the last yes. one. Yes. Was I lying? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're you have a one track mind right now. Power to the players. <laughs> Wait, what oh. the fuck? I don't um, think I've gotten a high roll this entire campaign so far. <laughs> I think happens, it's literally it be been two. Epic. In a... <laughs> That's just funny with my character because she's so like under the shit. <laughs> she's she's having in a all... humility check right now. I know, right? Like, I'm... <laughs> she's gonna her character arc is. is... It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> okay, I think I've I think I've fucking confused myself again. So, um, chat anybody who's like a, a fate player, just to double check with y'all. So, if somebody wanted to create an aspect, they they roll just the same as normal. I would still give them like a a goal number the same as normal. And if they needed it to be a higher role, they would use a fate point just like any other time, correct? But if they wanted to just say like, I create this situation, if you accept it, then they can just offer me a fate point straight up. Hmm. They roll as norm normal with a goal. No points used to create the aspect, but they but they can, Oh, they can't even use fate points to to add to the aspect. They only use fate points if they need to. It's all as usual. Okay, tight. Cool. Thank you. Unpause. All right. Kukri. Mm-hmm. You, uh, yeah, you find, you find branches that are going in all kinds of squirrely directions. Um, it's, man, you can tell though, if you use it, it's, it's going to take a while. It might, your coat, your little cloak might get a little ripped up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Assuming that you don't want to improve your role somehow. I just want to use my my fate points for some like cool persuasive stuff. I don't want to sure, just keep yeah. myself. Sure, yeah. No, I I I hoarded my fate points when I played. I was a yeah, terrible right. fate player. So, <laughs> like, I, uh, well, yeah. I mean, I'll, I won't. I wouldn't really care if it got messed up. Okay. I'll just uh do. I'll just try to slide down the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna climb down a bit. We're gonna say that you're. You're a decent pace behind Milo and Benedict, so if if something okay. occurs in their zone, um, it'll take you a hot second to catch up. And uh, your clip got yeah, your clip got a little messy. There's, <laughs> okay. a little, there's a little rip in it, brat. It's authentic battle damage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> True. Strength above all. Um, yeah, as long as they can still hide me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smash! Everyone's ditched you. <laughs> <laughs> um, smash. So we need to get down, right? We need to get down through this floor. If you want to follow them, they're yeah. they're trying to they're trying to shortcut. So they're they're trying gonna... to just be like, fuck it, we're going we're going down now. I'm gonna Mario sixty four jump Z butt slam. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely. Do a do a forceful roll, my dude. A butt slam. Ooh, baby, and you heavy as well. Um, it's gonna. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Yep. Uh, you butt slam straight through. <laughs> 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 you but you. Yeah, you you blast straight through Benedict. You barely get out of the way. Um, oh god. And Smash just comes down. 
Uh, you kind of, even the, the branches that he lands on, you hear a, a, a creaking and a groaning, maybe a little bit of snapping. Uh, it's not, the, the, these aren't good noises, but... Um, <laughs> but there they are. But there they are. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Milo, Benedict, Smash, you are all together. Kukri is going to take a minute. Um, you can choose to wait for her or not. I'll wait, but I'm, I'm tapping my foot, um, hoping that she'll see it when she gets there. <laughs> uh, Milo, what was it that you yelled? Do you, do you recall? Follow me! <laughs> so, as the follow me's echo off the cavern, you hear a voice yell back, Follow who? Who? <laughs> Me. me, okay, me. okay. Milo proceeds to follow. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's easy. To, it's even though there's there's an echo, the echo makes it a little bit confusing. Um, but the voice rang true. It was kind of piercing. Uh, you can tell which direction to go in. Yeah, I just go for it. I follow. Okay. Benedict, smash. Do you follow, Milo? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He believe he believes. <laughs> Sorry. He's no. got a he's got a better <laughs> sense of direction than than Smash does. <laughs> I All mean, right. it just sounded like two Milos from from Benedict's perspective, so yeah, he's just going to follow. Mm. Um Kukri, you also hear this voice uh as you're as you're coming down, you can see the three sort of start walking in in that direction. Okay. Yeah, I think like, I think uh, Benedict would probably sl like slow his roll and just double check that Kukri knows where we're going. She wants don't to worry, eat I can you, see dude. You. <laughs> he doesn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you disappoint me. <laughs> He's just waving like like really obnoxiously wide arcs. Um, just uh, you <laughs> you could definitely see him, but he doesn't know how well. Mm. Hey, Kukri! Hey! What is it? Come on, we're going after Milo's friend. I don't want to just jump into the darkness. I'm coming. This way, dearie. Oh! <laughs> you hear that? Okay. It echoes, echoes, echoes. Hmm. Is this an unfamiliar ASMR voice? Thing there. Yeah. It is an <laughs> it is an unfamiliar voice. Aside from the fact that it it sounds like a shriller, Milo. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Runs to catch echo, up. Echo. Echo. Okay, well. Wonderful. Come I guess. On. We're going to we're going to say yeah, that uh all of you managed to to clump together. You progress yeah. in that direction. Um If he rushes me enough, I'll probably just jump on him. <laughs> You're like jump five times my better. size. My size. Am I? Hold on, how big am I? Wait, did you say I was second biggest or second smallest, Brooke? Second smallest. Oh. Okay. Kukri, is, Kukri is a bit taller than you are. You're a drone, right. so She's Milo is definitely the smallest, but. Oh, yeah. Well, I wouldn't jump from way up there. If I was close, though, I'd jump on you. <laughs> Would you land on me? Are you jumping on my back? I'd probably just use you as, like, cushionally. <laughs> if you were rushing Like a me. stepping stone, you jump off yeah. my head. Yeah, exactly. I'll footstool you. Yeah, my my helmet like gets smushed down, and and my fuzz is in my eyes, and I'm like, oh, and, and I rearrange and <laughs> carry on following. <laughs> We're like rivals now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, all of you continue to walk, perhaps bickering, perhaps not, but as you get closer to where you know the voice was, um. The, the fungus starts to seem less sporadic. Um, it almost looks more organized. There seem to be paths that have been uh, put in place in specific areas. Uh, the moss 
seems to make like a trail, a, a well-trodden trail that goes along. And you can tell that you're you're reaching the other side of this cavern now. It, it actually isn't as big as it appeared when you first got in. Um, and hmm. as you start to come up out of the branches and the darkness, um, you'll see another one of these growths, but it's very different from the one that you saw before. This hmm. one is is covered in moss. It has beautiful fungus all around and what looks to be a lovingly chiseled door into it. And out of a tiny little window is um, a, a uh, well, it basically looks like kind of a, a an old see-through bug covered in moss herself. And she'll wave one little arm and say, Oh, it's been so long since I've had visitors. And that will be where we end our episode today. Ooh. Ooh. I stab oh, her with God. my pickaxe. Oh, my God. No, what? Save it, I Jesse. I gun. Still wielding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I cock the gun from before. <laughs> <laughs> when it blasting. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Um, it's exciting to meet a, yeah. a, another little person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've done really good NPCs and like critters in the wild, Brooke. Oh, thank yeah, you. Definitely. Thanks, guys. That was a very fun Sorry. session. Um, yeah. Would you guys like to to go one at a time and tell everybody who you are and where they can find you and what you do? Octo, you can go first. Hey, what's up? Uh, my name is Octo. You can find me at friendster.com slash octopimp. Um, I make uh, replica jewelry based on um, uh, characters from the hit movie Rise of the Guardians. Um, mm -hmm. Check it out. Uh, purchase some um, if you like it. Thank you. Perfect. Nice. You do Jack I Frost? I saw nothing Yeah. Oh, that. yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Mm -hmm. um, Kelly, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, uh, I'm Kelly Siren. I make a lot of music. I like to yodel and sing backwards. That's what I usually do in my stream. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also play a lot of games. Tight. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a Sick. <laughs> Perfect. Jessup? Hello. You can find me on Bing by searching yeah. Jessica. <laughs> there he uh, is. Exclusively on Bing. It's my sponsorship. I wear only Bing t-shirts now, and Bing is on all the butt of all my pants now. Um, I believe it. I have a Bing tattoo. It's my first tattoo I got. Wow. So head on over Welcome. to Bing. It's still a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's their, that that's should their, be their slogan. Yeah, that's <laughs> big. Their it's still it's still a thing. Yeah. You do know what Bing stands for, right, Jesse? You actually know you, you're not just a false fan. Big. Oh. Inglorious. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> oh. Not Google. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> not. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what does Bing stand for? But it's not Google. Yeah. Is that is that true? Isn't it because yes. it's not Google? Or but it's not Google. Oh, well, because it's also good. Is that yeah. really true? I think I that's don't... true. Yeah, it's... Well, <laughs> I mean, as you all know, look, all I'm saying what is... What does Bing stand for? Are you Googling because, it? Because, it, because it's not Google. <laughs> yes, I'm Googling it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're out there you saying to yourself... It. I'm getting a vaccine soon, and I'm gonna have a Bill Gates microchip inside of me. You might as well be on the Bing train. That's where I'm at. I'm hedging my bets. Choo -choo. 20 years from now, we'll all be on Bing. We'll all be on Bing. We'll be broadcasting 5G signals on Bing, and you're gonna be thanking brain. me for getting in yeah. early. <laughs> I have a new crypto FTL that oh you can download God. on Bing. Oh my and, God. Uh, if you Benji, download would my you FTL... like to introduce yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm I'm Benji or Bendrick online, and um, you can't really catch me anywhere right now because I've been playing Monster Hunter for three days straight. 
Um, but usually I stream. Same name, King Bendrick on Twitch. Thank you. Thanks, guys. That was very fun. I appreciate yeah. it, guys. Um, yeah. Next session next Monday, assuming that everybody is is freezy. Yeah, Hell yeah, let's yeah. do it. Wonderful. Hell yeah. Okay. Thank you all so much. I hope you have an thanks. amazing rest of your day. Thank, thank you. you, Dodger. You too. Great job, bro. Oh, oh, well, thanks, team. guys. Claps for the DM, please. Yeah. Clap now. Clap. Clap now. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Clap, please. Please, please, please clap. Please clap. Please clap. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 All right. Um, I thought that it was really beneficial last time to do like kind of a little post mortem. Uh, we're actually ending on time tonight, so uh, yeah, take a little break, drink some water. I'm gonna do the same, and then we'll we'll pop on the old webcam and we'll talk about how the game went. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. For anybody who showed up and has no idea what the hell is going on, uh, uh, save those questions. I'll try to, I'll try to answer them when I come back, and if you have. Uh, uh, critique. Save that as well. I would love to hear it. Okay, BRB. Oh my god, also, let's change up this music. God damn. Hold on. Hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll stay, we'll stay in, in universe, but, uh, let's get, let's get a banger going. Hell yeah. Ooh, baby. You know, just just Nightmare Grim doing Nightmare Grim stuff. <coughs> okay. Hello. Hi. Um, this will have to be short because I do have a meeting that I have to that I have to go to that I totally forgot about. I have a meeting I have to go to, but I wanted to take a couple of minutes to do like post-mortem-y stuff with you guys because I thought that that helped me so much last time. 
You did awesome. Oh, thank you, T-Ironer. There isn't any rules lawyering I can do. You pretty much nailed everything or corrected yourself quickly. Minor suggestion, especially for combat heavy episode or if the party slips or splits up, uh, might be an idea to add a fate point counter for the DM as well. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool system, isn't it? Yeah, it's interesting. It's it definitely I think it's it's difficult for it to serve a one shot or a short campaign well unless all of the players are really um familiar with the system because it does take a few sessions to like understand how to utilize your points. Uh but I thought that yeah, I I thought that it I thought that today went much better than the first day in terms of like pacing and everybody kind of like trying to think of how to creatively use them. Yay, I'm so glad. Thank you guys. Also, I heckin' love Smash. Me too. <laughs> it was fun to watch. I'm so glad. You can tell who's more experienced with the system. I think that sometimes, oh, L, thank you so much for the six months. Um, and Avi, thank you for the gifted subs as well. I appreciate that. If you were gifted a sub by Avi or anybody else today, um, please take the time to say thank you to them. Uh, yeah, Jesse, Jesse also is sometimes compelling as a, I, I can tell at least, is sometimes doing compels and things as a reminder. Um, to the other players that like they can do that or give like an idea of like what you can do, you know? Yeah, yeah, it was very fun, very fun. Um, yeah. Oh my God, I was, I was seriously though, I was seriously thinking they're going. <laughs> What am I gonna do? Like I can't I can't just let Milo attack the entire wall and say like there's no consequences to that. Cause obviously it would start to crumble, right? But it's like, I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do if they bury that charm. <laughs> like I literally I'm gonna have to come up with new shit on the spot. <laughs> I'm gonna have to just figure something out. Or they're going to have to start creating advantages for themselves because <laughs> like, they could legitimately be in a situation here where they, <laughs> they bury their out, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. I really wanted to incorporate charms. I wanted the webbing to be more of a puzzle. And I played around with like different ways that it could be a puzzle. Some of them felt too complex um, or like just not fun. Like Again, pacing wise, just like they wouldn't really be fun. Um, I thought about doing like weird stuff with like like music where where, you know, you had to like pluck certain web strings to like do something. Um, but I, I knew that I wanted to incorporate charms somehow. Every DM ever. They wouldn't burn their only bridge out, would they? <laughs> yeah, a little rusty lakeish, yeah. Um Yeah, this session was very, very fun for me. I think last session, um, I had that kind of like scrambly feeling in my heart of like, shit. There's a lot of things I'm realizing that I'm not super clear on. Um, and this session, I felt like I had prepared enough and I knew enough to be able to really enjoy myself. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I agree. I think everybody's doing really well. Mm -hmm. I gave I gave all of the players cheat sheets if that's what you're talking about they have a, they have a cheat sheet yeah <laughs> I 
make sure there's a hidden backup plan. No, for real. I need to have like plan B's in all situations now. <laughs> How did you settle on the minimal VTuberish visuals? So this was an idea from um, my artist, Danny, who does like all of my, my emotes, my splash screens, everything. He was like, I just saw a tutorial for um for how people do like the the moving PNG like VTuber things that connect with Discord. And I was like, oh that's super cool. Uh and we started talking and he had the idea of like, what if we drew all of the bugs for the Hollow Knight campaign and then like did this adjustment to the code where um each of the bugs were associated with a person in Discord so that they have an active, i.e. talking, they have a, a talking version and a not talking version. And then viewers, um, instead of having cams uh, and us being like, I'm a bug, then it would be pictures of all of the bugs in the Hollow Knight style that Danny did, which are amazing. Um, and you would always know who it was, like character-wise, that was talking. And I wonder, I'm wondering why you have the category as D&D. &D. Uh, because when I tried to look for Fate or TTRPG, um, just those on their own did not exist in the system. So I set myself as Dungeons and Dragons. There's a TTRPG category. Literally, if I go to category and type in TTRPG, it says... TRPG in VR space. That's my only option. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's called tabletop RPGs. Could not find that before. So there you go. That's what I would set it at in the future then. I didn't do it to try and, and canoodle Dungeons and Dragons viewers and be like, gotcha, it's actually fate. <laughs> it was just literally, I couldn't find where I, where I was supposed to be. Prank war. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose to be misleading or deceitful. I just literally didn't know what else to put myself in and I couldn't easily find what I was meant to do, so. I didn't think that, it just seemed odd. Now I know, the, now I know tabletop RPGs is the name of the category. So in the future, that's how I'll set myself. Can't believe I missed this. It was real good. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. So any of you who missed it, who are showing up now, um, we're doing like a, a short postmortem because I do postmortem because I do have to get going. But um, but yeah. But yeah, the my vods are always free and open on Twitch. <laughs> a short autopsy. Yeah, you know. Because that's what TTRPG stands for, is tabletop RPG. I only caught the tail end. I got to go back and catch it from the beginning. Um, I think my favorite part was when somebody found the gun and a person in chat said, a BB gun. <laughs> I was like... <sighs> This starts at 9 p.m. BST. So I, I hecked up in my initial tweet and said GMT because I forgot that the that the the initialism changes uh, with daylight savings. But 9 p.m. BST. And we go for around three hours.
Do projectile weapons exist in Hollow Knight? I mean, um, uh, what's her butt? What's her butt has has you know, the the needle with the thread attached, so she can do like distant like ranged attacks. But Hornet, that's her name. I don't know why I couldn't. I don't know why I couldn't think of her name. They mostly, yeah, it's from my recollection, it's mostly like barfing infection at one another in Hollow Knight. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it so much. I had a blast. That was very fun for me. Um, let me read off everything that happened in our activity feed and then I'll send you off to somebody else. Uh, Savage Ink Spillage, thank you for the four months. Ravacoon for the 31. Slight a Gamer for the 39. Zenercy for the 11. CGK Pluey for the one year. Happy anniversary. Thank you so much. Um, Octel, thanks for the 59, bud. Avi gifted a bunch of subs. Thank you so much, Avi. Gokshano for the 16. Missed SSB for the 44. Kuchiki Reko, thank you for the two. Remikins for the 47. Henry, thank you for the gifted subs. I appreciate it. Nab that cat and run for the 32. Tactical Luke for the 46. Zovis for the 45. Skite for the three. Gosha Noob for the 18. Druid Dust for the 10. Willard Mittens for the 51. Um, L, thank you for the six. VTMC for the 49. And Fritz Cap for the 46. Thank you all very much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna peace out. Um... I think the person who redeemed raid leader said that uh, that the the person they redeemed it for is ending their stream. So I'm just gonna look at my follower list. I'm gonna see if any of my players are starting a stream. I guess, and I'll give all the points back that were redeemed during the session. I don't see any of my I don't see any of my players streaming. So instead, let's uh let's get some chill vibes. And let's go say hi to a couple streams. Uh they do music and they're lovely. So uh there you go. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Next time that I stream is tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m. BST. So if you're looking for something to watch, I'd love if you came to hang out. But otherwise, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.